Oh, let's float. I also have infinite mana. <laughs> float. Oh, that's fun. Always yield. That may not work because... Isn't that fun? You also have infinite mana. But, like, again, like, I, when we were playing the Kiki Wombo before, we felt like it was win more. Doesn't this feel like a bit win more? All right, they're, they're done. All right, okay. That's fun. I mean, I imagine the infinite mana could be relevant. Like, what if there's an ensnaring bridge and I can't I can't attack with the infinite bell ringers, um, or 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 infinite resto angels? So, like, the fact that we're making infinite mana, well, only bell ringer enables the infinite mana. Lazy says you're pretty dead anyway, but here's infinite dead. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like this deck is fun, but like it's certainly win more in many board states. And then it's like there's board states where it's like barely enough. So. Um, doesn't Spellskite do funny things with Ravager? Because it's not artifact. Hang on, I think I missed something. Ravager's wording is uh, isn't it? Is it creature you control or is it? I always get this wrong. Arcbound, Rav. I think. Actually, I do. I do think. I do think it's creature you control, but I might be wrong. It might just be artifact creature. Yeah, it's target artifact creature. You actually can use Spellskite to steal. Uh, Ravager tokens when they when or it works against modular, I do believe. So yeah, it's been it's been a while since I played against Affinity. So for, forgive me, folks. Um, creature enters battlefield on target artifact creature, so you you can. So I think we do run it. No, no, no. They choose not to put the counters on it for modular. Yeah, but doesn't it blank them then? I thought I I feel like it blanks it then. Salting Goose says yes, you can redirect. Shouldn't I run this because it's it's because of the potential to redirect. I get that they just choose not to, but isn't that stopping the strongest thing about? No, it just blanks it. But like, okay, okay. Isn't blanking Ravager better than some of these other pieces I'm running? Like the second angel. Yes, it stops Ravager effectively. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, well, maybe, maybe over Spellbinder. Their deck is really fast to get things on the table. I think we do keep in the full Kiki combo. It's a it's a four piece combo. It's it doesn't take up a huge amount of our deck. Um, let's run it back. I want all my mana dorks because we want to be yeah, want to go fast. All right. It acts like an onboard stifle. It's an onboard stifle that costs me two life potentially, or none if I have a birds. I think we do want to play it. Cool. Uh, this hand's not as slow as it looks. Nest, Nest Invader ramps us. This this slot in our deck used to be uh, Strangle Root Geist. Now it's Nest Invader. Let's keep this. So just just mind you that in the future we're thinking this Fiend Hunter should be the um, Banisher Priest. But it's, it's very... I mean, like, they both have four points of stats. It's just a matter of do we want a better blocker or do I want a better... I mean, maybe I want the better blocker, because when Fiend Hunter is good, I know I'm up against creatures, and I know I need to be blocking. So maybe maybe, maybe we're wrong about this decision. Banisher Priest plays better with Historian, though, which was the, the reason I wanted to switch it. Um, yeah, Foothills go. Is there a universe where they are playing Affinity? Is there is there a world where I get... I don't think so. I, I need White White. and I, I have Red Red, thanks to Thicket, but... I think we're actually getting no oh, Ravager off the bat. Okay. I think we're getting Temple Garden, right? Yeah. Get Foundry. I think we're okay. Maybe 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 this is wrong because I have the basic force in my hand. But I was thinking of Yeah, maybe I'm wrong there. We're drawing lots of good things, but if we can't get it out there fast enough, it's uh, it's pretty pretty irrelevant. I think I'm actually going to go basic planes here. Taking a different approach. The uh, the thicket is certainly letting me do this now. Mind you, what am I not what am I not doing? Because I got Temple Garden. I'm not giving us triple red for Kiki yet. That's that's probably bad. I should I be. I wish there was a Naya colored Triome. That would make Naya also more feasible, right? Like why why have they deprived this this color combination of the Triome? They've, give, they've given one to most others, right? Just a thought. 
might get printed later. Maybe we'll see like Esper Triome. Like maybe we'll see at some point the Triomes they didn't do. But it might be as long as we have to come all the way back to um, the set that they were printed. Oh wow, Kazul's Fury is spicy. Such a cool effect. It, like, cause it's it's hard to run Fling in your seventy five of of Affinity. That's really neat. Granted, they had it looks like they decided to play it as a land instead of keeping it. Yeah, that's kind of neat. So we um, yeah, that's not good. We need to uh, what am I doing? My hunting, the Ravager. No, we hunt the Overseer. I think I fiend hunt the overseer. <laughs> you knight the overseer? You like knighting this? Why do you like knighting it instead? Oh, then then try to flicker this. Okay. I hadn't thought about that. Because we have angel next turn. Good point. Knight, go after overseer. Angel flicker. Oh yeah. I mean like there's 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 a lot of synergies we were missing out on when we moved away from the the resto build, because we just get we just get several more flickers that we were getting out of the charming prince and the deck the deck we the deck that certainly enjoys, um, flickering. I don't necessarily like attacking with the nest invader. They might consider cracking the. I don't I don't know. They decided to play this as a land drop, so maybe they wouldn't crack the spring leaf. Nah, let's just pass. Yeah, the flicker, flicker the night is sweet. Yeah, nice, nice line, Barwick. I like it. I'm going for it. Good thinking. Hopefully, you guys are having a nice night or wherever, whatever, whatever time it is for you guys. It is twelve fifteen. Ooh, whip flare, brutal. All right. So it looks like our line now is um, Fiend Hunter. A oh, whip flare's so good. One sided sweepers, man. They're, they don't they don't come that often. I have wondered that if this deck could play. Um, oh, what is that card? There is there is a one, there's one that works with flyers. I don't think we have enough flyers though, but. Oh, we drew the evolution. Sweet. Okay, so maybe maybe I shouldn't go after the Ravager. That's 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 strange. We should we should almost always go after this card, right? If we can. It's just since I drew the evolution, it's tempting to think about the Pyromancer because Pyromancer goes and gets Kiki, and then I kill them. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to maybe I'm supposed to season and try to hit like Path instead of. And then we evolve the Pyromancer, have Kiki. Well, no, we, we would angel first, the Pyromancer, and then if we don't hit the Kiki, then we evolve. Yeah. Hmm. They don't really have enough going on that I care, right? Shouldn't I just go for my combo instead of slowing down to stop the Ravager? Maybe that's wrong thinking. They could draw, like, an Ink Moth. They have Blink Moth, not Ink Moth. They could draw Plating. Maybe it's okay to take it t to slow, us, slow our combo down by one turn. To, yeah. Let's slow. Let's let's do that. Fire spout. Thank you. Oh, we have a removal spell. Ah, we're transferring it to the blink moth. Yeah, fire spout's what I'm thinking of. I don't think it would work in this deck. Like, sure, we've added a few more flyers, but couldn't we just evolve the hunter? Yes. Uh, especially if what's happening is like now I want to resto the the fiend hunter potentially to grab, say yeah, because I could grab the yeah. Uh, windswept, go. We want to get another red source, right? I'm I'm being super greedy if I don't get like the sacred foundry here because if we just naturally draw the kiki, I'm gonna be kicking myself that I got the. I was considering getting the triad arbor, which is super, super, super greedy. Then we get to resto block it. Oh, there's a plating. But they tapped the nexus. Okay. So so greedy to consider the yeah we're lo we're looking good actually. Uh, foundry. Okay, now we're good on our colors. Now we're happy. 
Yeah, you were right. I should have gotten the... Oh, wow. Are we just draw Kiki? Do I just consider even playing Kiki? No, right? Angel's still better to start with, right? I can, I mean, I can Kiki the Fiend Hunter, and that grabs the their threats. Uh, that's so funny. Why is it tempting for me to play the Kiki? Oh, boy. We just drew all, of it, all the things. We just land past? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I actually, I could have attacked there. But, like, that's the thing is, like, as as we add infinite combos like this or Vizier combo, right? Vizier or Kiki combo, we don't have to really worry so much about attacking. Oh, that's not true. I should have I should have attacked there. It was, like, a free free damage. Kiki's the more vulnerable of the two. Hey, what's up, DF? What up, DF? I want them to attack with it too. Before I This is some we got some sweet tech going on now. Why why did we move away from the resto build? What was I thinking? This is this deck feels like a real deck again. Maybe for the first time. Uh how do I stack these actually? Isn't there a way that I can stack this in such a way that it exiles it forever? Aren't there there's isn't there synergy here? Isn't it kind of worded similar to like Sculler and such? Hang on. Uh, leaves the battlefield, return the creature. Do you want to click this one first? It's first in, first out. No, no, no. That trigger would work for Ravager. Doesn't it matter how I trigger these? No, it doesn't work. Trigger on the stack only works for Ravager. It was targeted. Am I thinking of something different, Bark? I'm just trying to not make a mistake. It doesn't matter, yeah. I just realized the way that it's templated, it doesn't matter. Is that That's also the same with Banisher Priest, right? Is this the same templating? It looks like it's a different template. Can I zoom in, please, Magic Online? When there's a battlefield, exile a creature. Un comma, exile creature until. You're thinking when the Fiend Hunter's already entering? Is, is which one, okay, which one has synergy for, for Resto? That's what I want to know. They're just dead here. Like, which, which one of them do I get to abuse with Angel? Either? Do either of them have that potential? I just drew the nuts. Look at the nuts. When you blink it, and you get to double up on the exiles. Right. Cool thing about Resto is it's got a lot more power toughness than Village. So it doesn't take as many copies to kill them. They're going to make us do it, so we're going to do it. Good practice. Okay, we got there. Um, Banisher does not let me double up. So... Ergo, you answered my question. We should play Fiend Hunter instead because of its templating and not Banisher Priest. Because we do want to be able to double up. All right, Barwick, you heading to bed? Sleep well, my friend. Also important to me, Fiend Hunter has a watermark. But that's very minimal. <laughs> it's negligent, actually. It's non non-existent. Should we... um? Should we and could we play even more angels? I, I feel like I'm at the point where I'm conflicted, right? Angels seem so good for this deck. What have we been doing all this time? What have we been doing with our lives to not go back to this wonderfulness? Um, so good. So good. Um, Oh, yeah, we're going to add another Timely to the sideboard because it's also just really good for our archetype, the fact that they're not human. Um, the life gain, the blockers. Um, but mostly the fact that they're non-humans and, they and we get a bunch of life. Um, I know we just did our count, but one more time. So human to non-human.
could we just play Coco? Um, Co Collected Company is an interesting thought. We haven't. I don't think we've done a Coco build. Um, I feel like we'd just end up with nest invaders and arbor elves and birds, but maybe. Um, none of these are humans, are they? Wow, all of this is non-human. So we got a 15-21 split. I was considering cutting princes and playing more angels, and I think that's wrong. Because the princes let us blink things as we as we win, Oda. So, could we play Coco's? Coco seems great for a lot of our sideboard. Dry says, I don't think it's a Coco deck. Could we do? Could we run the numbers on that? So these are whiffs, whiff, 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 whiff. What are hits? Everything else. Maybe it is some number of Cocos. Probably not, actually. We have 28 hits. Mind you, the Cocos themselves will increase the number of whiffs. Number is 28 creatures for Coco. So we have 28 creatures for Coco, but we would have to cut on, like, there goes Historian, which maybe I'm fine with now that we have, we're doing the, the Resto Kiki thing pretty consistent. Maybe we just let go of smashing and attacking. Maybe just, maybe we don't do that anymore. Maybe we're just, like, value and make lots of blockers and then combo. So that, that would make me think this, this slot could be the, could be the first collected company. I mean, just like, just think though, like, okay, out of this 28, like, what's juicy to hit? There is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then what are dorks? So the, the number of juicy hits to dorks ratio is maybe not great. There's 15 juicy cocoa hits, there's 13, like, non hits. All right, 28 is the minimum. Remember, you also need a crux, you need high impact hits. A lot of your creatures just aren't exactly that's kind of what i'm getting at like this 13 is just non is kind of just yeah I, th I think let's keep the historian yes 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 yeah i think i think we've liked historian more than the the i mean there's an anthem we could be playing too the um I'm conflicted between which one's stronger. Okay, so we played the Changeling for a while, the one that just like lets us just make our whole team huge, and we hit them, and they die. The Historian, though, is more efficient for what it does, because Mirror Entity, I need the mana. We've, we've been back and forth on this debate for a while, folks, if you're wondering. Um, Kind of would like more punch again. I feel like we're we're more reliant on the Kiki combo. Like every every anthem effect, I don't run every every slot. I don't spend on a finisher. We're just kind of we're just kind of just doing just maybe I cut a prince. Mirror entity is still a human. I mean, I hmm. no, we're cut a voice. It's it's tough to say. I think two princes is where we want to be. I'm going to cut a voice. I'm cutting a voice, I think. So you have a plethora of powerful single cards. Honestly, an actual tutor would just be worlds better. Yeah, it would be. And and like we could go back to playing some number of tutors. We just haven't found another one that like fits the mold in the way that we want. It could be the first chord. I think Cord is playable in this deck now that we're playing Nest Invaders instead of Geist, right? Strangle Root Geists. I do think the first Cord is 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 feasible. I do. Um, I think some number, like especially since like Pyroman and Nest Invader both go wide, they give us more creatures to tap, at least for the colorless side. Nest Invader gives me one green, one colorless. Pyromancer gives me th up to three colorless for Cord. Cord of Calling hasn't worked. We've tried. We've tried several. Court seems nuts. I, I mean, I've, 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 huh. I've felt good about cord, and I've also felt like it doesn't do enough. So, or that it's clunky sometimes. I mean, maybe, maybe now that we're moving into, like the, the, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. Also, if we want the combo to be more resilient, we need to play like the first Eternal Witness. I don't, I don't know if I want to bother. 
I think I'm fine with our two plans being infinite or why not to beat down to just be our two i'm fine with these three cards essentially being our true win conditions and not bothering with something as slow in this meta as eternal witness what about el Adamri's call we we played el Adamri's calls builds for a while um they just weren't mana efficient enough so cord to be good in this deck i need a cord all the way up to four for me to be happy with it um We could try the first chord again. Maybe cut a prince. So I have twos count. If we play chord, then I then I like the idea of you witness. Hey, what's up, Zine? It's been forever. How you been, friend? Let's get another timely up in this. Let's 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 slowly reintroduce the chords to the deck. I'm 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 happy to be wrong because I would love some more tutors that the deck actually likes playing. Maybe the nest invaders and the pyromancers will let us get away with it. Like that we'll actually play it quickly enough. The problem with cord was we weren't we weren't casting it quickly enough. But maybe maybe every time I saw it, we were just up against like fast decks. Um, let's get another uh, timely. And let's let's bring back the first cord, cord number one. I mean, maybe maybe two chords is better than second angel. Even I don't I don't know about that. Human count, she suffers. I mean, it's a lot better now that we're playing Hunter, and Hunter's got the resto synergy. These are also humans. Actually, I'm a little concerned, folks. I feel like our human count has dwindled drastically. Maybe, maybe if we went, if we start playing chords, we don't have room for the voice anymore, and we should just play two charming prints. I feel like I feel like our human count is dangerously low voice is just nice for for control it's just a solid that's really where it shines uh, I don't yeah I don't like how low our human count is so maybe we would cut voice and play charming prince number two so we, we do need a certain number of two drops if we're gonna be playing um, evolution Doing good. Waiting to play some paper. Yeah, nice sign. Now, Eternal Witness is a human, by the by. We have played it before. Um, I mean, maybe I'm crazy not to play the first copy. The first. Um, I, I just, I like that the Charming Prince has synergy whilst we're going off. Whereas Eternal Witness, while it's very good, it's a very good human. We've, we've played it in the shell before. I think that the fact that, at, like, these are all really relevant as were as were my why nota ing right whereas eternal witness like it's the grindier card right it's it's the but i have to i have to pay for the card i get back um what about a congregation at dawn nobles could be good here well the problem is that nobles are human and i want non-humans um i think we considered noble at some point all right, let's play the first chord, see how we like it. Or re reintroduce the first chord, and we'll slowly go up. Maybe maybe it goes up to as many as two or three, even. I don't think it'll be... I don't think this deck can handle the, the play set, but... The problem is, if I'm only testing the fun of, we won't get to test it as much, though. I, I realize that. Maybe we should... Somebody help me figure out what we could possibly... Uh, I think I'm shocking here because we need red off this. And I'm not necessarily slamming the Apparition next turn. I might be playing the Spell Sky and then we don't have to shock on this. And this becomes our... Um, we want to get Stomping Ground so that we could cast Pyromancers. This is getting bolted though. So all my plans are out the window. It's getting darted actually. We're up against some form of prowess. Sad day. Um, let's just slam the spell sky. This is going to hurt, but I think because I have Skyclave in hand, I actually think I'm going to get Foundry. Let's 
It's so sad to see the uh, the Arbor Elf. I mean, we I didn't know what my opponent's deck was, so we're we're gonna we're gonna put this out there. What about a Fauna Shaman? We can attack, but it's also Fauna. What Fauna Shamans? Yeah, Fauna Shaman is a human. You like the first Fauna Shaman? Don't block because they could have a bolt here. I mean, Fauna Shaman does have a cost to it. Don't forget. Oh, no, it's an Elf Shaman. Never mind. I thought it was a human. Why did I think it was a human? It lets me trade out my late game dorks for real creatures. I mean, Pyromancer lets me trade out my late game dorks. But it's the fact that it's an Elf, it's actually better. I, so I'm, I'm with you on this. I think this is neat. In theory, I just don't know what I would cut to fit it, though. We have a lot of reasons for a lot of the cards that you see. Moon. It's not very helpful here. Your Nest Invader. I'm sure my opponent's like, wait, Nest Invader? It definitely would be cool, though. It's kind of slow. Like, it could only be Cord or Fauna, not both. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's a, that's another that's another engine we could go down. My my issue with this is it's like the thing to think about with Fauna Shaman is you're not actually going down a card, right? You're you're exchanging a card. Um, yeah, that's tough. Fauna's definitely greedier. Yeah. Oh wow! If we draw a land, we get the Winota going. If we don't, maybe I apparition this dragon. The dragon's terrifying. I don't like seeing a dragon. And they have land. Uh oh. I don't think I want to lose the spell sky to bolt. So I'm not blocking again, I think. But we have game ready combos. What are we gut shotting? You're trying to gut shot the spawn? kind of need that spawn. It's going to hurt. I think I have to redirect this. So they, they might also dart and try to hit this spawn. I need I need it, though. Might see them lava dart as well. Maybe not. We might not. Down to seven. So we I don't think we should Winota here. Oh maybe we could. I mean I have to draw a land for that to be the line. I do. I have a basic. Is this is this really what we're doing though, folks? Am I hoping that my Winota hits are good enough? I think I have to. I think just playing Skyclave just doesn't doesn't get there. Oops. That'd be embarrassing if I tapped that wrong and then couldn't undo the spawn. Some some creatures that sacrifice themselves or some effects on Moto like like Lotus Petal as well. They they programmed it so you can undo if you do float the wrong color and such. Um, I'm actually only going to get two triggers, so maybe, maybe the Skyclave was the was actually correct because I need to get rid of this Sprite Dragon. Yeah, dry. I mean, you might be totally right that instead of like doing chords, we should be doing fauna shamans. I'm down. I'm down to test this too. I don't know how many we would play. They're they're both expensive to do what we want them to do. Play the singular. Let's hit the goods. Come on. I guess we are hoping for fiend hunter, right? I'm going to keep the Skyclave. There's a Resto. Oh, the whiff. I think there's a good chance that I'm dead. Wynota can block the, the Swiss Spear. I might even just trump it with an Elemental, though, just to make sure this doesn't get 
I think I think we just die to the sprite dragon here. I mean, like, sure, I can redirect some stuff to the spell sky, but it's it's costing me life to do so. Sprite dragon number two. Yeah, we're just dead. But it, it it was it was fine. We get to try out some of our sideboard for this matchup. I expect to even with the help of the spell sky. Like if we're not if we're not like main decking the you know things like champion, it's it's a bit harder to steal steal games. And we we even you know pyromancered over some dead cards such as the magus of the moon. Well, weak cards. But I'm already dead in the air. So we, we should have skyclaved, I guess, but I think I think even that we were I think we were even I think we were supposed to spin the wheel. But alright, Knight of Autumn gains me life. Whoa. It's not letting me There we go. Um Champion. Paths are great. Timelies are great. So no, I, I think second time is gonna be huge for our, our deck. Um Test the cord, even though maybe that would get cut. Um, we're not the beatdown. Do we do we cut like our anthem effects and try to piece together our combo? Our combo is a bit vulnerable though. To to the mono burn deck, <laughs> prowess. Magus gets cut. Um, Spellbinder seems weak too. A lot of their spells are just too efficient. So are we running knight just for the life gain? I think I think actually we're off this plan, right? We're trying to infinite. Right? I subscribe to the greed. We, we're off this plan, right? We're trying to play. We want we want our combo. Right? Because we, we want to go from zero to sixty against them. I think I think the the beatdown plan's too fair and too slow. So this is a matchup where I do I do think we're supposed to cut it, right? Kind of like the way it curves as well, because it gives you lines like Dork Shaman Tutor, Magus Skyclave, Slam it. I mean, I love me some Fauna Shaman. Don't get me wrong. I played in Vintage. I was playing, what is that deck? Applejacks? Applejacks plays the enchantment that Fauna Shaman was templated after. Like, don't get me wrong. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let me ask this question. Would we cut Fauna Shaman in this matchup? Probably not. So I guess we, we can keep Cord because we would keep that. That's your sales pitch. Okay. Do I cut the two Restos and we just hope to piece the combo together with our tutors? Because Resto is also a little slow. That's probably unwise. That's Yeah, that's probably unwise. Because those also blink like night and such. Anyway, here we go. Uh, timely. We should keep this right. This hand's bad. <laughs> There's no acceleration. It just has a timely. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It goes land, 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 timely. The, 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 the Dryad Arbor screws us up, but... Land, 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 timely. Hope to draw a different land. Play a Winota, get three triggers. Um, you know what? Maybe I'm going to keep this. I don't think I'm supposed to, but I only have, like, a couple paths. Evolution's your best tutor. Oh, yeah. I think, I think, I think this archetype is certainly... Certainly an evolution archetype. Um... I hope we just draw a different fourth land, I guess, if I'm keeping this. Could even season Pyromancer instead of... We're probably just slamming Timely, though. And we, we wanted to... We even tried, like, Neoform, but I think the, the cost of the fourth color, the Scar... Yeah. There, there were a lot of things that made it just not work. We get, we get uh, Foundry first, right? Yeah. I think. There's an Arbor Elf. Okay. Awkward that I got the Foundry. Um, that's okay. This this is probably getting toasted, but that's all right. Why no Angrath's? Good question, Big. So we have played the Angrath's build. On, on stream, I've played it. Um, I, I also tested it quite a bit off stream. Um, I think it's fine. You're, you're welcome to play the deck that way, and I think it's it's reasonable, right? It's more bursty, 
Um, I'm going for a different way to get the burst kills where um, the, the one small advantage of building it this way is all of my spells are hard castable, whereas Marauders are not. Marauders also needs a density of lightning bolts or helixes or, you know, your burn spell of choice. You could even play like Stomp um, from um, the Stomp side of Bone Crushers. You could play Bone Crusher Giants. That's what I was trying to say. So you, you just, the, 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 the Marauders is actually four Wynota, four Evolution, four Marauders, and then, you know, three or four burn effects. But I, uh, I'm actually on a more creature-dense build that has more room for getting Wynota triggers. There's, there's lots of reasons why I've moved away from the Marauders. You play Fauna Shaman? We're, we're going we're gonna to maybe play one. It's, uh, it's Dry Bormir's suggestion. We're trying out a Singleton Cord, but I, li I like the idea of the, the Fauna Shaman. You play three. It's really good. Okay. Maybe it is good. Let's start with one copy. The gut shot. It's fine. We we saw that coming. We're lo we're looking to timely and then play a Wynota. I just I need a different land. I'm really hoping for a different land that's not Dryad Arbor off the top. I I like the idea of Shaman. It's definitely I'm warming up to it, Big Monkey. Let's try let's try one copy at a time. Ooh, back to back timely. Oh, we don't gain the life. They're at 14 because of the gut shot. Oh, am I playing season pyromancer then? I won't. I won't get the. Uh, I won't get the tokens as easily. But shoot, and, and I don't have. This isn't a shock land, so I can't get lower than them. Maybe we don't care. Maybe we just need the creatures. Hold on. Oh, did we Pyromancer here, folks? We Pyromancer, right? We need to dump these two, don't we? Or we would... I'm sorry. We would dump one Timely and one Dryad if we seasoned. No, it guarantees the turn four. Zion says seasoned. I think I have to. I think I have to, and I think I'm pitching these two because Dry Dryad Arbor is not going to get this... I wonder, should I sideboard this out against Prowess? I've always wondered that. No, I'm glad you're here, Big Monkey. You're definitely giving me some things to think about. Okay, so we still haven't found the fourth land. Pyro can block the Soul Scar. Then, then we guaranteed have fewer creatures and we have less life. We get the timely off. Awesome. We have a bunch of creatures for the Winota. Fourth land, get a bunch of triggers. Here are my previous lists. Big Monkey, thanks for dropping some lists on us. I, I have no problem using some other technology that you found is working. I mean, we're just we're just starting to stumble upon the fauna of shaman tech. Maybe, maybe this is exactly what we were missing. Did you play Charming Princess? Oh, you're about to show us your list, so. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Big Monkey. Pre-Fauna pre and pre-Blademaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Blademaster turned into Historian. I'm familiar with the Blademaster you're referring to. I think we just chump. Depending on how big this uh, mage gets. Or they just abrade so we don't get to chump. Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble here, folks. It's a lot of damage we're about to take. Thankfully, neither of these are uh, dragon. Otherwise, and they, they would stay this big if they were. Blade Historian, you meant? Same difference. Well, no, no, no. You used to be able to play. There was a five drop that gave all your creatures double strike, but it was just for that one turn. Blade, it's very important that Blade Historian does it mul multiple times. Or I'm just dead now. Wow, they have a mutagenic too. I think I'm just dead now. 6, 12, yeah. Am I just dead now? Go to 3. We're going to go back up to 9. But just, wow. Didn't hit the land. That's okay. Can't afford to play Pyro. We would die. Timely. Have to block the py uh, this, this Soul Scar Mage. Still going to take a wallop from the Stormwing, but... 
Maybe they don't hit gas. Don't hit gas, opponent. Oh, thanks, Jade. I appreciate the good night wish. Thank you so much. You have a nice night, friend. I wish you wonderful dreams as well. Oh, no, they had a threat. Oh, no, they had another spell. Oh, no, their deck is good. Stop stop being good. It, the, the prowess deck's quite good. It is. No, because they get to play some really good cards. I'm sure it's a satisfying deck to play, too. Okay, it wasn't another spell. Thank goodness. So do I have to block block? But I have to, I have to get a certain number of Wynota triggers. I think maybe I'm only blocking one. Or is this like weird madman city where I don't do any blocking? Oh, they're darting a soldier? That sucks. Did I see the dart? I don't think I noticed it. We have to block, so they're forcing a block. I take eight. Keep one soldier around. No, this, this didn't happen. It's okay. I'm just curious if we were going to get the land. It's a fetch. We're going out on our own terms. Good game. And they win that match. So we certainly have to do some things if we want to have a, ch a semblance of a chance. Game one against... I mean, I'm, I'm fine to move away from... I, I liked the fair win con for a while. I, I wonder if we should just try to piece together Kiki with protection, a.k.a. main deck Spellskite. So let me main deck the champion. This would buy us room for more Fauna Shamans. This would... Um, let me sideboard again the Spellbinder. Because I do like it. I do think it's awful against Prowess, and there's a lot of people jamming Prowess. It's only so good against Heliod Wombo. That gives us room for the third shaman. Hang on, we got something going on here now. So this is us throwing, throwing, uh, th like, I'm going to I'm gonna miss the go big strats, I think. But I wonder if it's going to make the deck better since we have this kill, right? And again, maybe this this would be the version that wants the, um, the eternal witness. Because I'm kind of all in on this. And if we lose the... Now, Eternal Witness is a human. So maybe maybe it's going to work out. I think our human our human, our human count is really suffering, though. Maybe, maybe this is the build that doesn't get to play and have fun with Restoration Angel as much. Right? Maybe this is the build where we have to start slimming on them. And uh, give me the first Eternal Witness. And give me the... F maybe... Um, Maybe we cut a Charming Prince. Because now we have plenty of two drops, right? Because in a pinch, although we don't want to, the um, the Fauna Shamans can be evolved. Maybe we cut a Charming Prince. Yeah. All right, Bell Ringer's a good idea. I just don't know how you play Kiki in the same turn. We won't. It's going to take multiple turns. I'm, I'm fine committing to, the, to being all in. Is it because I said quantity one? Yeah. I'm I'm committed. I'm fine committing to going for Kiki, piecing together Kiki, and just value. And not not having a uh, as much of a beatdown plan, like without without things like Historian and Mirror Entity, we really won't. Most decks go bigger than us, so. Um, but we can we can value right. We can go wide with py, p uh, p uh, Pyromancer. So what about Witness, and, um, another. I'd still would rather just play two village bell ringers than zealous, I think, zealous um, conscripts. I think I'd still rather do that instead. You've tried rabble master. I do like actually. I was playing the one that does mentoring, big monkey. Let me actually look at your lists for a second here. Thank you for sharing them. I didn't actually take a second to look. So you're playing Llanowar elves. Okay. So we were on strangles for a while. And you are playing voices, okay. So this was a Geist Honored Angrath build. Yep, I'm familiar with those builds. This is the other one spicy too. I'm just curious what your win con was for this one. Just see, I like this a lot better. This version two 
already I'm singing praises because we've got cool card. We've got powerful cards on their own, like Huntmaster and Pia. I like that you've moved into Geist Honor because really that's good enough to get the job done. And yes, yes, you're on the beatdown plan. I'm not knocking it. I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad because of that. You are running the collector. Oh, I've missed this card, a little bit. Ooh, the Avalanche Riders is cool. Why not? Ma oh, you have Magus Main and then Riders side. Okay. Thrun for control. We've had, control's been annoying sometimes. We've had some trouble against blue white. We we were we're one and one for that matchup. Okay, rest in pieces. All right. Thanks for sharing the tech, man friend i i definitely will give these oh wow triple day aside day aside but yeah you got to beat heliod that's a lot for just heliod matchup though thanks for sharing the technology big monkey they're very outdated lists though i was playing four spyro four rabble two legion war boss dorks winota that way i'm guaranteeing two winota triggers most powerful but it's less efficient I'm fine committing us to the Kiki com combo. It makes me almost wonder if I don't want to be on any angels and I just want to make sure that I'm maximizing. Um, yeah, ma maxim maxing out the... Um, no angels sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I think I think it might be because like, we're not really on the good stuffs anymore. We're kind of just committed to piecing this, st stitching this together, right? So maybe even the third ringer. It's helping our human count too. Like every every and like I actually can start to net mana depending on how many dorks we have. Every time I hit a bell ringer, I can untap our creatures and and make mana. Um, so I, in a really weird, funny way, like the more bell ringers I add, not only do I make us a more pure Kiki Wombo. The more bell ringers I add, the more mana generation we create as we go through the Winota triggers, which definitely speaks to me as more of a combo deck decision, um, which maybe even makes me think that we should move away from Charmy Prince at all. And just because um, it's it's cool to flicker the season and I like I like the scrying and everything, but maybe maybe we just play this play set of ringers. Ah, that's fascinating. I wonder. We also get to utilize Fauna Shaman multiple times every time we ring her. I, you know what? I just want to test it. We should have. I should have opened a new copy when I did this change. Shoot, whatever. Let's test it. Let's grab those. I know it looks. It looks like it, it's fine. We're we're gonna we're gonna peel it back. It's probably not gonna be a place at a village in the end. I just want to test that synergy. We're not. They're not here for like any sort of vigilance or anything. They're here for piecing together the combo. Giving us extra Fauna Shaman triggers, extra extra mana to like make tokens off of Pyros. I think this is kind of neat, actually. It looks more like a combo deck for sure to me now than before. Um, so two more Fauna Shamans. Um, you, I saw a couple things from your sideboard that I liked. Uh, I'm not going to implement them just yet, though. Ooh, I didn't grab the uh, Eternal Witness. Let's grab that too, because we're we're pretty much all in on the Kiki now. So we're we're which w one of the benefits of that is, um, we can focus more on maximizing, um, kind of like your traditional Kiki combos, where I, I, it's not so much that I need to worry about maximizing my attacks. It's oftentimes maximizing our defense, maximizing our blocks. Uh, maximizing our longevity, trying to top deck to uh, piece things together. So um, for that reason, I think it might be cool to see a version of the deck just more all-in committed to the combo. Play, play Spellbinder instead of Deicides. This one, Elite Spellbinder? We're playing a Singleton. What, what makes it so insane? just because you hit their Cocos and it's harder for them to cast them. I feel like Linvala is the insane against Heliod. Keeper of Silence. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can't be activated. Oh, these are all three drops. All right, yes, it makes Heliod more expensive. Same with Linvala. We're trying... I mean, maybe instead of playing Frost, maybe what you're saying is true and we just play the spell anyway 
I wanted another thing that we could tutor the uh, the reason I'm doing the split of Ferocidon and Linvala was I wanted to be able to uh, evolve our uh, one drops into um, into something that also shuts off their combo. I think it's the cutest card in our deck, the Ferocidon. I do think it's only opponents can't gain life, right? No, it's it's all players actually, so it's actually kind of crap sometimes. But let's try it. And we're main decking the champion, which I've wanted to do. Like ma main decking the ooze, the spell skite, the champion. Like all these little edges do really help us against things like prowess a little bit. Obviously, without the the paths and the um, the timelies, we really can't. Like this, this five is what comes in for the for that matchup, and we we need we need that extra cushion. They're just too. I feel like they're too sideboard oriented. I don't know if if we want to become better against, if we want to be better against prowess and such, we si we start to consider even sideboarding the apparition, and we main deck like Knight of Autumn, even potentially. So uh, you know, there there are little things we can do. To give ourselves more and more edges against, you know, burn or the prowess decks. Most of the burn decks these days are just variants of prowess. Um, I like Sky Skyclave a lot. Um, I like it even more maybe than the main deck Hunter. The only reason I have a Hunter is because it's a human. So I, I don't know. It, it would be we would do it because of our human count, and we'd have to look at those numbers. I think our human count's fine right now. I mean Sky Skyclave. The, the thing that I can't hit if we go with Fiend and Knight and Magus of the Moon as our, like, non... Let's see. I have six non... Six pieces that are bullets, and they're non... Like, they're not really associated so much with the combo, right? That would be Champion, Magus, Knight, maybe Hunter, but maybe Skyclave. Um, as much as I love the toolbox, you want three to four Wincon cards. Well, then you, you, I think you would start to play, consider playing second copy of Kiki. What do you mean by tap opponent? You mean like a, like, a, hey, what's up, Mr. Penguin? Are you, am I going to, can't, uh, maybe. I'm trying to log at least one stream a week. Modern Mondays, Tuesday, Bruise Days, Theory Thursdays, that kind of stuff. No, I mean one tap opponent off of a Winota. I don't know what you mean by tap opponent off of. You mean like tap down their lands so they can't kill our Winota? What do you mean? Do you mean... I'm just not understanding what you mean, Big Monkey. Can you say it a different way? Please? Make sure notifications are on. Oh, kill them in an instant. Yeah, I mean, if you want that... I, I do think the better shell for that is is the Angrath Marauder build, and you just hope to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a first-person shooter terminology. I'm with you now, Big Monkey. Um, I, think, I think that's not this shell. I think that is the Marauder shell, right? And it's, it's also not this shell either. No offense, I'm not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to poke holes in your argument. It's also not this Geist-Honored Monk shell of yours either, right? This is a more fair build. You're just trying to... Um, ooh, have you liked three Arbor Elf, four birds? I've considered that split, by the way. 22 land, three and four. Is that is that better? Maybe you're onto something. Am I making a mistake? You're not running the Dried Arbor? Why not? Maybe that's also a mistake of mine. You seem pretty confident about... Well, this one's 4, 4, 22. Oh, yeah, Cavern. Interesting. I don't know if I agree with that for my build, but... Trust me, no Arbor, because Lava Dart Fatal Push format... Oh, that's true. There have been several games where I wish I could have taken this out. And I think Moto does count it for my land count. Okay. Just maybe move away from that. It There have been some matchups where it's pretty awkward. I kind of still like being a Copper Line Gorge build. I mean, yes, the, the Fiend Hunter, Auric Champion... 
Sky Clave and Linvala are awkward, but I feel like we're just so green, green, red, 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 red in my case, right? That I think, um, so maybe copper lines, or maybe maybe second copper line, and maybe consider a, the one of the white ones. Like, um, yeah, yeah, there is inspiring vantage. There's also yeah, Razor Verge. I have Razor Verges. You prefer the fast lands over the fetch package because of how valuable life is. Okay. Yeah, maybe and maybe maybe I'm wrong with um, I don't know if I'd go mountain forest in my Oh, you weren't on the Mag Oh, you are on the Magus Moon plan the board. I feel like I'd still want if I was to prioritize a fetch, I think in my case I'd rather prioritize windswept. No, maybe right. I mean, these lose they, these lose some of their strength. That the um, the um, how many shocks were you on though? Twos, two ofs. Yeah. Well, no, two and one of. Interesting. Two and one of. Two of two of two of three of. Okay, but that was when you're on Arbor Elves. Interesting. Two of three of. Okay. I think instead of the three of, I'd rather have the first, like non. Thanks, Big Monkey. Thank you for the list. They're, they're definitely giving me a lot to think about. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm just curious to explore a, a purely kicky build. Um, yeah, maybe you're right with the fast lands. They're going to make us not able to hard cast the kiki on occasion. But maybe, maybe you're right. Now, this build was on much more fetches, though, because it was playing... Um, yeah, I feel like I'm falling into the dangerous category of I'm not going to pull off these Arbor Elves anymore if I go too much deeper on these, actually. So maybe maybe three Wooded Foot Elves? Razor Verge, Vaser Verge, Copper Line. Um, yeah, actually, I, I think it's dangerous for me to cut too many... Too many um, too many lands that synergize with elves. So 22 land, maybe. They don't let you cast Kiki, play more Firelit Thicket, or Filter Lands. Don't be afraid to play other dorks. Yeah, it probably will, right? So currently, what lands does it work with? It works with um, none of these. It works with not that either. It works not here. It works with 14 in my current build. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're onto something with Llanowar Elves. I, I kid you not. I, I saw one of your builds was a Llanowar Elf build. Like, it feels weird to play, like, Elvish Mystic or Llanowar. Um, or, like, a split of the two. Not that not nobody's gonna surgical my, you know. Ooh. Mystic has uh, the old the old border with the new art on it. Oh no, this was the. These look pretty though. There's also some really pretty Llanowar elves out there in the internet. On Moto, at least there was the. Um, they look like. Maybe they didn't print them on Magic Online though. Um, I know you used what a useless thing to think about like ah oh, but they got to be pretty right no they don't these ones I actually like these ones okay there's these ones there's the classic ones I think these ones are kind of cool looking so you have some options I remember these being given out at uh, FNM the full art Llanowar Elves kind of kind of pretty so about something like this maybe Bye for now. Okay. I'll see ya. Yeah, so we, we get to run a mana base that looks more like this one. If Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about that. Like, yeah, like we're less colorful, it's dangerous, but we're, we would be taking a lot less damage off our mana base if I swapped out of the... Um, 
leveled up on these. Don't have to be anymore necessarily. Load up on fast lands, maybe. Which I know looks counterintuitive because what? Because I'm running two Horizon lands as well. But second copper, um, Razor Verge, Razor Verge. I'm already running them, right? Um, maybe even the first, uh, you were playing, he was playing uh, Inspiring Advantages, actually. Yeah, I, I hadn't thought about, like, like yeah, I guess if I want to shore up our matchup against, like, Prowess and such, we really do need to take a lot less damage off of our mana-based. So maybe we want to just, want, maybe we just want to try a plethora of the fast lands, and then if I have extra room, I do have one advantage. Any extra room we have, maybe that just becomes... Um, well, we are still a Magus of the Moon deck, so I do need to run some number of fetch. How many were they running in this one? Not that many. Four. We are running a mountain. Interesting. I mean, that's also a way to minimize the damage we take. Let's cut advantage. So we bring him back the basic mountain. So cut one of those. Bas maybe basic mountain. 22 land, huh? Consistently. I, I mean, in fairness, I see what they're getting at, right? Because it, it, it is a literal Lava Dark Gut Shot Fatal Push format, right? So it is. So maybe... Maybe this maybe these are really smart moves. I like I like I like a mountain if on the Kiki plan actually. Cut these extra shocks. Look at us like working on our mana base. One of my weaknesses, as you guys know. Uh, hopefully you can forgive me for it. So let's let's get some of these up in here and uh, let's let's give let's give a non a non Arbor Elf build a try. Let's try one of these Elvish Mystic Llanowar Elf builds. They should be super cheap. They 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 give those out like hotcakes. These these promo versions. Yep, I can get two of those. I need another copper line. Gorge. I'd like a. That's it, right? Two two elves, copper line. Yeah, it looks like that's it. Definitely like a Firelit Thicket, Copper Line Gorge kind of a deck. Like, yes, we have a couple of cards that are white-white, but... It's looking good. And, and I feel like we're, we're more, like, clear in, like, the lines and the goals of what's going on here. I have, I have high hopes for this game plan. Like, this is... This is this is, we're all in, right? This is, we want to be untapping and making extra mana and playing out extra things that we're drawing off of the Pyromancers. And um, we're not playing around with any of the, um, I do feel like our human count has suffered or we're, we're just going to be drawing a bunch of bell ringers some games, sure. But we, we'll put the fear in them. They'll always be thinking about the Kiki or, or evolve for Kiki. And that's one of the benefits of having potentially three or maybe even the play set of ringer is... Um, Extra ringers can become the Kiki off of the Eldritch Evolution. It's not ideal, but... Yeah. We've moved away from the Giant Arbor, which makes me sad, but there are plenty of matches where it has gotten us killed. It's also given us extra Wynota triggers, but... Yeah, maybe maybe that's the end. The end of that saga. Alright, so we're, we're a bit more... A bit more... Uh, yeah, we're a bit more allocated, ready for the more aggressive decks than before. Cool. It's good, right? It's a good sign. Guys. Guys, we have the whole combo. Look. See? Keep. I'm also lacking in red sources. But guys, guys, we have the whole combo in our hand. We do. Think about it. Whole combo. Whole combo in my hand.
I do think that we're definitely lacking in the in the humans department though for the um Yeah, and we want these to be land wars instead of noble hierarchs and such, right? Because we want them to be non-humans. All right, so I can village. Maybe get to block and kill the hex drinker. That would be weird, bizarro land, wouldn't it? That would be pretty fascinating to get to do. And then we evolve the bell ringer attack with the elves. I kind of like what's going on here. Whoa, we're up against another Naya opponent. It is exciting to see Naya happening. Stoneforge. Okay. Village. So, so going for it here actually is kind of crummy, but we just drew a bunch of lands. Are we sure it's a 22 land deck? I was on 20 and 21 for a while. Like, look at this. Are we sure? Ah. Arthur says, we win, do we? Do I just go get Blood Moon? Evolve Elf into 3-drop. Evo the 3-drop to Kiki. I don't, I don't see what you mean. We win. Evolve Elf. Elf to three drop, evolve three drop to Kiki. Oh, if they don't have removal. So you're saying, ev okay, so evolve this. No, oh, cancel. Hold on. No, you've got a good point. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just not thinking about it. Because they might not have removal for the bell ringer. They did show me sword, a feast. But they don't have enough mana to put into play and equip it. So yeah, maybe we did just win if they don't have anything. Um, so what do we want? Just go get Pyromancer? Go get Fiend Hunter? Skite looks good. Well, it's, but Skite, Skite doesn't... Skite can't evolve into Kiki Jiki, though. Arthur. I have to get a 3-drop here. It's okay. We're, we're thinking. We're thinking. There's Eternal Witness. I could get back the Llanowar Elves and play it. Actually, that might be the right line, by the way. It might be Eternal Witness, get back Elves. Because if I go for Pyromancer... I actually think Pyromancer could be fine. I just I want to keep the evolution. I could get into some more action. Like, our hand kind of sucks. Maybe I'm just supposed to get Pyromancer. Maybe Magus. We could get Magus. All right. I do have the other forest in my hand, so this is valid. A valid line. I don't know. We're all in, right? So maybe they just hard cast the sword. Oh, they're going to spend their turn evolving this? Oh, that's fantastic for us. We just won. They spent their turn making a 4-4. Four -four. I mean, like, I, I don't I don't know if I would put me on Kiki combo. I feel like this is a giveaway, but not everybody knows that this also works with Kiki Jiki for infinite. Did we just do the thing? I mean, granted, it took a draw of double evolution. But, uh, yeah, we, we do the thing. So, evolve Magus, win the game. From one to three to five. Okay. One to three to five. Combo. It's going to take a while if they make me go through this. Always yield. Oh, no, it doesn't. Just don't misclick. How can I misclick? They're all the same creature. Can't you make Kiki copies of the tokens themselves? They're going to make me go through it? No, they don't. Okay. Kiki combo. Consider that was a giveaway. But t hey, take the, take the buy. Yeah. Kick 
combo. All right, so Linvala stops both of the creatures of theirs I saw. Revoker seems decent. Oriak can go. I mean, they might they might have some red removal, but I'm I'm not interested in this. Apparition can hit the equipment. Paths also hit Stoneforge. Um, they're not going to let us Magus of the Moon them again, right? Right. Knight hits uh, Stoneforge pieces. Witness is kind of slow. Yeah, how do we sideboard for this matchup? I'm, I'm having some trouble. Oh, Spellbinder can nab what Stoneforge tutors up. That, <laughs> that actually is kind of cool. See, this is where we need to figure out how many bell ringers this deck takes. Honestly, I like Magus purely because it's will be removal. They're going to spell elsewhere. Okay. So you like these. Hmm. Well, I have five cuts to make, so... I mean, once we've sideboarded, like, the games are... Um, slower. So maybe we start trimming, like, elves on elves and invaders a little bit. Sideboard games are slower. Because we're diluting our decks to do the things. So maybe maybe we trim on invader pretty heavily. So greedy to do that. I think I do, though. I don't think I can justify cutting another elves, can I? That seems wrong. I mean, they're fillers so that we do the thing game one consistently, right? And they're important filler at that. I'm not saying they're not important. I don't really want the timely. I don't, I don't think we want Glyph Weaver. Frostedon makes it so they don't gain life off of Batter Skull, but I, I just want to make it so they don't get batter skull into play or do that at all don't want them to do that uh, i'm gonna do one and one i i feel like that's wrong i feel like we can't trim that much of that part of the deck it's a really important part of the engine but maybe i'm even supposed to try tr trim the fourth winota post board i've thought about that from time to time especially since we have other things we want to be tutoring up for um this hand doesn't have enough green to really do this stuff. Well, I guess I'll keep this. It also doesn't have enough white for this uh, Skyclave I just drew. Okay. We'll see if the new changes to the mana base were maybe a mistake. Soon. No mana dorks for my ringers to do the fun things with. Get the extra manas. It's kind of like that, like th this guy plus dorks is kind of how we do like our weird Deceiver Exarch impression. Okay, that's a great draw in this situation, right? Because I didn't have a two draw. This probably gets killed. We're okay with it. I mean, yeah, in these, in these builds, it's important to have creatures that are worth them killing. That's so true. Is this getting Lighting Helixed? Nothing. Shock, shock. Why did we shock, shock? What are we up to over there? Are we, like, playing shadows or something? Did they just shock, shock? I'm so confused. Did they shock some? Oh. I, I must... My, my eyes must... I must be tired. I don't think they did. But then how are they at 15? Why do you want to be taking damage? Are they trying to set up like a timely reinforcements? I don't know. All right, we drew the Kiki. That's actually kind of bad because we were hoping to evolve into him. Um, hmm. So is this like a weird bizarro land where I might be okay cutting? Like I cut my opponent more than we get cut on colors if I just slam this Magus. Granted, this, this might be a lightning bolt. I think there's a weird there's a weird world where I do this because I think they have to remove it. They float bolt mana. They wait for this to resolve. They lightning bolt it. <laughs> yeah, what you said came to pass dry. <laughs> 
Sarah Avenger. Is this how we have to Naya these days? I don't know, maybe, maybe your opponent is going to learn us something. Oh, there goes that too. Even, even if I apparition the Stoneforge, they have plenty of mana to maybe play out and equip the, the sword. Okay, we're actually very glad to see this, aren't we, in this situation? Right? Aren't we happy? We're happy to see the Nest Invader, aren't we? Like where I'm choked is, I'm choked on mana, right? We don't want to just village here, right? Maybe I look, make it look like I have something like a, a path in hand. I don't. We sideboarded those in, right? I did. So they're going to put it in, they're going to equip it, and they can discard. And what do I discard? Well, now the if we can draw the white, second white source, the sword's now exposed. This is a big wall up here. We're taking five in the air. Have to discard. I actually think I have to discard a, a bell ring. It's okay. This, this build of the combo, we have many copies of them. But yeah, I'm just hoping for... That white source. And we need it to not be a fast land white source. We need, like, fetch. Preferably white fetch. Ah, no. That we, already, we drew the planes naturally, so this is going to hurt. But we got to get rid of this sword. We did take game one. Skyclave. My Eldrazi spawn, right? They're going to go after the Nest Invader, I think, though. I think there's a world where you actually would want to get rid of the spawn, because I'm hurting for mana. Which, of course I am. I cut, I cut some of my land or elves. That was foolish. Okay, so I didn't get my wish. We, oh, boy. Uh, uh, I think what I have to do is... F actually, we win, potentially. Why am I worried? I know you're like, Bruce By, what are you talking about? We actually just won, maybe. If they don't have removal, which, I mean, I, w I would imagine they do. But if they're all, if all the removal is like sorcery speed, skyclave apparition. Well, if they, if they kill this, wow, they're tapping out almost. No, they're not. Okay, they've got one card left. If it's bolt number three, if it's path number one. Oh no, they're just doing stuff. I think we just won. So they're representing path potentially. But I mean, I think we just go for it. We're not we're not playing this combo to not go for it. Oh, cool! I get to block the. Um, I get to block uh, this two power threat. Camera shaking. Yeah, I don't know why it's wobbling. All right, so we let go of the evolution, right? That can't be right. Okay, so let's say we try to go for the combo. We're just dead if the combo doesn't work, so it doesn't matter what I discard. Um, okay, they're looking at more cards. It's terrifying. They have two cards now. This is... They're cluing again. Now they need exactly Lightning Bolt. Needs to be the exact Seas Lightning Bolt. Uh, I'd rather not sacrifice the spawn. I'd rather... So we got red, red... Yeah, we got all the things. I can go get a forest. So we're filtering into the Kiki. Thank you, Firelit Thicket. You are awesome. Red, 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 red. Do you have it? Do you have the bolt? Three? Number three? Bolt number three? It doesn't look like it. I think we got there. Yeah, the camera's attached to my desk and attached to the top of my monitor. So, 
I'm sure it's me, Ram, just having some restless leg. Wow, we got there. The Battle of the Nyadex. We did the thing. So maybe it's not weird to cut some number of invaders and elves post-board, but we need to be careful about doing that. Imagine saving removal. Huh. I think the thing that really suffers... Well, I, okay, I'm excited that we have lots of lines that are opening up that are just resulting in wins. You have no idea how excited I am about that, actually, that this seems to actually maybe be working. Um, th I know that's not enough of a sample size, but I, I do like that these have synergy outside of Kiki Combo in that as I as I Wainota, they're giving us pseudo vigilance and letting us reuse our dorks. Um, yeah, no, I like that. I almost wonder if I should be on. I don't know. I'm almost tempted to go back to Geists. I'm almost I'm tempted to go back to Voices. I, I like the Nest Invaders. I like what they do a lot for the archetype because they just give us more Winota triggers. They ramp us as well. Um, no, we're not going to change them yet. I was I was considering these. Let's look at our uh, human count. I think it's really low now. Um, granted, I think I think now it's just we're using Winota as an engine to draw us to Ringers and Witness and just try to set up right. Which, which I think is a good way to use Wynota. Actually, our human count isn't that bad. It's 16. There are more creatures in the sideboard we could consider trying to squeeze into the main board. Um, if we're okay giving up some percentage points against things like um, Dredge and such, we could main deck the Binder. Uh, which bind, Binder works against a lot more decks than Ooze does. I just like Ooze because it helps us. And, and since we're on Kiki is why I'm main decking something like Spellskite. Um, yeah, in, in the meta, in the meta, like ch uh, Champion, Spellbinder, Magus might be better. Um, I mean, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be on the main deck Fiend Hunter. I don't know. We'll keep moving things around until we figure it out. I'm going to sideboard the Ooze. Let's just have our Graveyard Hate come out of the sideboard. Um, yeah, I mean, having an infinite kill is certainly huge. That's, that is one way to maybe beat Dredge is just, we just go infinite. Um, there's, there's a lot that's exciting me about this change. Certainly we need to play a few more, a few more games to get it. Oh, what time is it? Wow, it's one thirty-one. so maybe we need to start wrapping it up soon. But thank you guys so much. Reminder that we baited a bolt with Magus, but he also chose to bolt Scooze. Yeah, he didn't have to. Right, our opponent didn't have to. So this is pretty well a mulligan. This is not as much of a mulligan, potentially. We have access to the bell ringers a lot now. Playset, why notice get them? I, I might be tempted to shuffle. I, I feel like I shuffle a bell ringer before I shuffle Kiki. Well, the, the advantage to shuffling Kiki is it becomes it becomes cheaper um, potentially off of a Eldritch Evolution, but you're not guaranteed to see the evolutions every game. We need to get used to that, by the way. Thanks, you too. Opponents saying hello, good luck. Um, so I actually think I'm going to keep and I'm going to do that. Just just because we're used to tutoring into this doesn't mean, yeah. Just because we're used to tutoring to that doesn't mean. I mean, we have fauna shamans too to find it. We have ways to find the kiki. All right. If you're worried about human count, couldn't you go two elves, one noble? Yes and no. I but I don't want to hit. Uh, I'm I, I don't want to. I want the humans that I'm hitting off. That's a great question, Blaze Rider. I want the humans that we're hitting off of the Wynota to be impactful. To the stage of the game that we're at, right? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take take a noble high arc. I want to take one of these seventeen, right? I'll, I'll even take. Why well, notice sometimes takes herself as awkward as it is. It's, you, you can think of it as she's just giving herself haste and such. Oh wow, we just win. Maybe I need to draw a second land. I did not there. 
we may we may just win off this magus i mean it depends on if they're what type of tron they are but but something's always better than nothing um i don't know i don't know if i agree with that logic blaze but it's really really important that the i don't think we should shave from this like seven or eight or so of this like these these every creature that i'm playing in the early stage really does need to be a non-human um, with a couple exceptions, Oriac Champion is really good in the meta, so I'm okay to let that be an exception. Like, like the 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 things that we're playing leading up to Winota really do need to be, uh, for the most part, non-humans. Um, Pyromancer also fits that category. If we were still main decking Apparition over like Hunter or Knight, this would also fit that category. I'm trying to make us a little bit better main deck against Burn, so that's why the Knight went into the the main deck. Um, does that make sense, Blaze? I, I get I get what you're saying, that it feels really, really bad to whiff on a Wynota trigger, but I, I do want to make sure that we're making triggers uh, in the first place. And so maximizing the amount of non, the non-humans leading up to when we slam Wynota, I think is really important. Do, are, you, are you able to do statistical analysis, Blaze? Because I'd, I'd love that. Because um, I don't know if that's really my forte. I do have a mechanical engineering background, so like I, I, I'm not I'm not a stranger to spreadsheets, but um, I don't I don't know if these days I have the bandwidth to, to want to, to do. I, I like the deck a lot, so maybe maybe I should. I mean, it's a lot of I've had a lot of fun with it, but I, I had a lot of fun with the Mardudu deck too. Yeah, I mean, if there's anybody in the chat that wants to do a statistical analysis, you you have my blessing. Maybe I could. You've got an electric. Oh, you're a fellow fellow engineer. We're just mooning them here, right? That's why we're doing this. Like, that's the plan. Ooh, and we get to go get a uh, basic planes, right? Isn't that what we want? It's kind of awkward because I have Kiki and I have birds, and maybe they're not killing birds. Maybe I'm getting the wrong land here. Like maybe maybe I want this to be a red source is what I'm getting at, folks. I have white, thanks to key. I actually don't think I, is this like weird Bizarro Land where I I want I'm fine thinning. I might get a shock land and hurt us, and moon and we like I actually need the red sources because pyromancer, Kiki. I already have white source on the bird. I mean if they kill the bird, I'm very sad, but yeah, it was weird as this looks. I actually think I let us get mooned. And I attack them for one. What a weird, what a weird day. All right, considering the problem is looking at your deck, constant so mathematically sound problem is they'll just kill the non-humans. Oh yeah, every non-human that they kill, they stop a white note trigger. Which is again why I like things like Strangle Root Geist or Nest Invader. Nest Invader, in, in a lot of cases, has been nicer for us just because it's also ramping us. I, I. If you put the two cards next to one another, Geist is the stronger card, easily. But it doesn't give us the flexibility. It doesn't give us two triggers, potential. Um, it doesn't give us uh, colorless mana. So, I, I, yeah, it's it's hard to say. I, I've really liked the, the Nest Invaders a lot, though. Any land gives us the third red source we need for the Kiki. Honestly, I'll look into the stats. Direct message you once you have. That'd be awesome, Blaze. You also can post. I also um, would be interested to see it maybe even here. That's up to you. You can direct message me, Ryder. I will go ahead and friend you if we're not already friends. You've been friended. Thanks for being interested to do it. There, that's the thing. Like as you grow a community, there's more and more people that are interested to to do such things. I think I should just belt because uh, any land that's n our not our other two basics lets us kill. I think we just attack for three, end step village. I'm trying to make sure that villaging doesn't let me play anything else. No, we we would need a two drop. If I had a two drop, village would let me cast more things, right? Yeah. 
No, that's not true. Float. Hang on. Float. Village. I could have cast Pyromancer here. I'm so stupid. I just noticed it. The village bell ringer. Cause, because we had two dorks, I could have... Yeah, that was bad. I see it now, folks. I didn't see it initially. Float. Pay for bell ringer. Well, no, it didn't cast Pyro, does it? Does it? Because the, the mana that I would be getting would have been... I would have had white, green, green, not... I need... Be because birds had to pay for the white here, but also birds needed to... Yeah, I don't... I actually don't know if I could have cast the Pyromancer now that I look at the math. Because this is only green. Oblivion Stone, that's terrifying. But maybe we just win here? I think we go for it. Like, that's going to beat us if we don't try for it. Sort of feel like attacking there, casting Wynota was good enough to lock the game up. Yeah, I might, maybe I was supposed to do this. Yeah, any any not forest, not... I mean, there's a lot of draws here that just win the game, right? So let's draw one. We did not. We're very sad now. We're very sad. Um... Very sad. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble now. Um, so if we'd slammed Wynota last turn, we would be swinging with Wynota this turn with both the elves and the birds. And I don't... Um, even if I play Wynota here, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not going to do anything. But we're in big, big doo-doo, folks. I think I actually have to... Um, I think I have to season Pyromancer. Just to make sure that I draw us into some lands. Spell Skite's irrelevant. Yeah. We got we flew too close to the sun, folks. I also want to make my land drop this turn. Flew too close to the sun. Oh hey, there it is. Too late though. Alright. Yeah, exactly. We would have no non human attackers either. Like this is where it's like, man, we really needed something like this instead of like naturally in the bell ringer or something that's really disappointing what's the worst part about it is we we will rebuild slightly because so they're gonna they're gonna stone um i don't know when they're gonna stone. i guess they'll try to stone during they do have tron already set up i wonder if they want to pop stone now and then they get to play something strong okay they decide not to um ooh Let's do this while we still have Magus out. Cool. So we didn't get... Yeah. Awesome. Um, we've got a line. We really do. It's... I mean, we swing We swing out. They pop this second main. We... I don't need to swing, I don't need to swing birds. Swing out. They pop this. Popping there would be bad. Only three mana after. Stone. Yep. I should have floated the mana on the birds. No, that's not true. I, I think I just want to flash this in during their end step and just hope for another untapped source. I have triple red mana. I just want an untapped source off the top. Off the top. Let us win the game. If they carn my hand, that's fine. What do we want to see? We want to see, like, not what they're casting. Oh, is this Ugin? We're okay with this, maybe. I mean, I'm scared that they're getting the value off the Sanctum, too. Love this synergy. If I was playing Tron right now, I'd be... Play you gotta tap that for mana, though, first, friend. I think you have to tap it right now. Oh, they didn't. But maybe it's irrelevant. They get Ulamog. They can't cast it. Yeah, I mean, like, our out is we just, we draw, we draw the mana source, right? So we flash this in, hope to win. That's the name of the game, guys. Flash it in, hope to win. Don't show me, show me, don't have main deck mis dismember. Actually, wait. No, they don't have enough, no, they do have enough mana. So actually, the, um, the blast zone, 
We don't win. We don't hit win anyway because we didn't hit the land, but the blast zone can... Um, the um, I don't... Or no, the copies do retain our co converted mana cost, don't they? Because they're pure copies. They're not... Yeah, they're not going to have no converted mana cost. Um, but we will lose next turn to Ulamog. All right. Let's bring in our sideboard plan. Second moon... Se second magic Magus of the moon. Um, what else is our plan for Tron? Revoker. This is where we wish we had the Oaf... Tokens or copies, they'll keep your... Yeah, thank you, Kedler. I, I wasn't sure for a second there, but I am glad. All right, Glyph Weaver. Uh, what else? That's it. Oh, Teague, Teagster. A Apparition, probably not. Knight, maybe. They both they both have issues. Fiend Hunter, probably not either. Well, Fiend Hunter stops. Um, we don't really care too much about Worm Coil, though, right? I mean, we do if we can't set up our combo, but this, we're playing we're playing the version of the deck where we're just all in on this. Uh, Spellbinder seems actually reasonable. We might keep that. Champion goes. Uh, Spellskite, I think, stays? Maybe not. Maybe Witness goes. No, Apparition's good. It can snag a map. But, like, wouldn't... Wouldn't I want Knight? Because it can, it can hit higher on the CMC chart. It's also less difficult on my mana than Apparition. Are you sure? I feel like everything I'm trying to hit is an artifact. If I want that slot, shouldn't it maybe be the knight instead? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there. We can trim an invader or two, right? Post board? I would think you would want both. Really? Really? On the play, we want both. Should I really be trimming this many invaders? I feel like I feel like the fact that these ramp us to our threes and so much of our deck is threes. Maybe maybe it is the invaders that we ha can trim a bit on post board. Maybe that's what should be getting trimmed. What do we What do we trim? We trimmed fiend, three invaders, champion. Uh, that's it. These five. What do we bring in? We brought in glyph spell. Oh, no, Spellbinder's main deck now, isn't he? He's not. But maybe he should be. No, he is main deck now. All right, so Spellbinder stayed in. Um, we cut... I don't know. Let's just run it back, because I don't want our opponent to scoop the match. We're still in the tournament practice room. Apparition hits Karn, though. That's true. Play Knight. No, I, I might I might be wrong, Kedler. Dry, uh, I don't think invaders involved with beating Tron. Okay, that's a fair point. Oh, nice. Hey, we get to try out the uh, the fauna shaman finally. It's exciting. There's a bird. Best best card in our deck. One of the best. Uh, we don't get to pyromancer yet, but that's okay. Maybe they play map and we revoke it. Is there a reason for the spell sky? It Seems not great against Tron. Dismember. They also play that one spell. I might actually do this. If they map, go for Revoker. Yeah. Doing it. Name Expedition. Map. And, like, it's always sweet if there's another map, like, in their hand to, to get them. Should I swing for zero? Not going to. Like, Win Winota is the cool kind of deck, like the cool cat's deck where swinging for zero with birds is relevant, right? Get the trigger. We have enough red now for Pyromancer. But do we just want to get fauna, blah, 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 fauna Shaman going? I think we want to play Season Pyromancer, actually. Right? Well, if I play Fauna, I can get Wynota. Honestly, we should Shaman. Oh, yeah, 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 we can grab Moon. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Or we can just evolve into it and just have it now. Guys, we could just have it now. Um, if they leave an artifact in play, you should be hitting it with Knight. Um, isn't Chromatic Spear the one that... No, it's not. It's the one that's not as good as Star. So I could hit this Chromatic Star. 
In your experience, what are the odds Truman Dorks dies before it provides mana? Oh yeah, I mean it depends on the the matchup plays. It's it's happening happens more often than I'd like to admit. I feel like we almost just evolved this here into moon. Just have it now, says Dry. I think we just go for it. Like the overall feel, play match for years. Oh, I, 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 like dorks can feel so bad. Just moon them. Don't let them have a have the window for natural tron. That's what I was thinking too. A bit. So we just moon them, right? We can still pyro after this. We'll have red, red. Win in Rome, right? Oh, I tapped the wrong color. That's Yeah, we do it. 50-50. <laughs> I mean, but the dorks dying means that our later pieces are more um, likely to, I, don't know, I know, and before dismember. Just maybe don't have it. Uh, can't cast Wynota. I mean, we're on we're on play Pyromancer plan now. Turn these into elementals. Like that's that's the plan I'm on now. As long as this is in play, if this leaves play, then we can switch back to this plan. Maybe maybe Fauna Shaman actually is better. Hear me out. What if I Fauna Shaman convert Knight into the second Magus of the Moon and play second Magus? Like, isn't this the matchup why we added the second Magus of the Moon? Ma Magus of the Moon? So shouldn't I consider playing Shaman? Shaman could get us to the other... Oh, or I can just draw birds. So well, actually, I don't think I will. Because if I natural a, a land, I'm, if I'm doing that, you're going to pitch Pyro. I, th I think I play Shaman, because if I draw fourth land, I can guarantee, most likely... Magus. It feels so weird not to play the birds when I have when I kind of do need the other colors, but I think I'm gonna play the tutor to try to pick up the other Magus. What about O Stone? I mean, I do care about O Stone, so maybe I'm maybe I'm supposed to play out the bird bird so that I could have enough bird so that I have white mana for the for the night. Yeah. Okay. Now we're screwed. I. Should have taken a different line. Actually, is there something I could Fauna Shaman into that rescues us here? Not really. Darn it. I maybe made a mistake there. I think I should have birds because of this card. Yeah. You you saw it after I did dry. That's, this was the mistake. Unless I can somehow, like, do I have another some sort of... Yeah, no, we're in trouble. I would need, like, second revoker in this instance. If the O-Stone... If they owe stone when it's on your end step, they have Tron for a turn. Oh man, I really messed this up. Like I don't, I don't want to commit anything else to the table, right? I don't even really want to search, right? Like what am I, what am I, what am I searching for? What am I like? Oh no, no, no. We can. I do search. I do search. I hit them for four, and I do search up another Magus of the Moon. Just get another Moon. Yeah. I, I don't have to do it immediately. This is. This isn't as a sorcery. If we have two magus, maybe knight should be rex ages. No, no, no. The life, the life gain is too relevant. I think it. It stinks that it got us here, though. You're right, because of the magus. And maybe, maybe I'm quick to say that too. So we're gonna convert the uh, bell ringer. I feel like that's wrong. So we want to try to kiki. Guys, maybe we're reacting over nothing. Maybe they, yeah, they have the fifth land. Oh, they're just doing it now. Okay. All right, let's not be foolish. I, th I think these are the tools we want. I don't know. Maybe we should get rid of the Pyromancer. That seems so weird and wrong. We're getting Moon again. I mean, what if they just have back-to-back -back O stone, though? You think that's a big mistake for them? I'm going to get rid of the bell ringer. We get the replacement magus, right? I mean, if we're really lucky, we just draw a land, and then I can play birds and magus. 
Honestly, I like getting Kiki and hoping for land. Maybe that was better. So you would like float, float these two lands, then put bringer in, hope for, and I, well, f four lands though doesn't do Kiki, but I guess, oh wow, we drew the land. That's big game. It's big game that I get to do both. Not game over. I'm just saying it's big game, because they can't. They can't both. I mean, unless they have the dis if they need dis they will need dismember and O stone number two to beat this. I did have a bell ringer. They're dead now. Well, probably, not definitely. All right, I think we're just all in though, right? If if I pyromancer, we lose the night. I think we're all in though. I discarded it, yes. And I'm all in. There's a wine note to... Oh, we're, we're all in. I am all in. Actually, have they made enough land drops that they... No, they still can't O-Stone and immediately pop it. Do they have the dismember? Oh, boy. I should have gone to combat first. <laughs> They're acting like they maybe have it. That's terrifying. They do play like one to two dismembers, so. Hmm. What's up, dragon? Don't have it, opponent. This is worm coil. This is, ooh. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think we lose now. Was there a way that I could have not lost to the All is Dust? I don't think so. Gaddock Teague. I would have needed the Teague stir. So we're dead now. This is that spot where it's like fun to think about the Dryad Arbor that I was running before. Because it would give us a trigger. They're at 8. But that that should be the end. Why the mismatch Tron pieces, though? Maybe there's really like that art, that art, and that art. I don't know. Why the mismatch? Bum, bum, bum. Well, you probably shouldn't... Tr well, anyway. I appreciate you, Marin. It's been a bit. How you been? I did have a question earlier, and I, and I thought you would also get a, a joke out of this or have fun with it. I know that you put some of those videos up on YouTube because um, when you're in the practice room, you say that you're recording for YouTube. Do you also, for, the t for people to see the deck in its organic state, do you also put matches where the deck loses, if they're at least like interesting close games, or do those, do those not go on? The, speaking of not close games, we did lose this one. I want. I wonder if you put all the matches on. See that excites me. Not 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 because ooh maybe you're going to feature this nonsense. I'm on about a very different build of the deck now, as you can see. But um, I think it's good because it gives a more honest depiction of the deck, and people can see, you know, how the, how a deck might try to fight through hate or or what have you. So I do. I'm glad to hear that you post also losses. Um, it's a little late for us to start a league, guys. I, I kind of indicated that earlier. Um, we'll play a couple more, I think. What time is it my time? It's almost two. I think this might be the end. Daring them to ban Tron. We can't keep this, sadly. It's got the... Ah, uh, the one of Sunbaked Canyon. I probably wouldn't keep a one lander uh, anyways, though. Yeah, we've been having fun, um, Marin building, or Maven, I'm not sure what you're going by. But we've been having fun. We've had a lot of enjoyment trying to figure this deck out. Oh, wow, we have White White for the champion, naturally. That's nice. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what my opponent's on, so it's hard to know what I'm supposed to keep. Um... 
Maybe I'm just doing that. Actually, said your deck was awesome. Cool. Stick this. Yeah, I've been trying to build a variant of Winota that doesn't use Rider. So most, you're probably familiar with the Angrath's Marauders build of Winota, um, as as a fellow brewer, right? Innovator, right? So usually they play the play set of Angrath's, and you play Bolts, and you know you can play like um, I actually over Bolts. I actually prefer Stomp, um, Bo Bone Crusher. Not, I mean, like a split of Bolts and Bone Crusher, because Bone Crushers are also non-humans for Winota, but they're also doubled and quadrupled when it comes to um it's just any burn source is doubled and then quadrupled um so you normally play the the angrass marauders right if a source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player deals double and and like the the taxes versions of this and even the naya versions of this archetype that's normally what they're doing i'm trying to find different ways to to get to a win so we're uh, right now we're actually trying. Somebody suggested Fauna Shaman. I I thought it was very unassuming at first. I've actually really fallen in love with this, the the Village Bell Ringer build because as we're Winota ing, we actually generate mana, which I didn't think about so much. Um, so it's actually really kind of cool. I, I I'm not sure if this is where I'm going to land though, um, Marin. You, but you you can just see that this is quite a bit different than what we looked at earlier. I'm going to play the Nest Invader because I have draw just drawn a Winota. Um, could be blue eye control over there. You want to counter counter my two two? It's okay though. You're still my friend. All right. Should have been from the reflector maze. Advantage the gesture. Ah, I didn't. I didn't even notice. To be perfectly honest. Did you say something in the chat? I might have noticed then. I didn't see any chat from you, Marin, whatsoever during the match. Um. I don't know. I don't know. You're just salty, nothing new. Oh. All right, so they fatal push my. This could be Esper Control. Could be a few different archetypes. Flooded Strand makes me think Esper Control. Now I'm not so sure. Dark Slick Shores? Just like some sort of hmm. All right, so we've drawn an evolution. What do I want to do here? Am I playing shaman? I mean, now I kind of just want to resolve the champion now that they showed me push. Now I wish I'd led on champion. Maybe this gets countered even. It'd be interesting if they countered this. Quad Boros seems impossible. What are you talking about? Oh, the um, the um, the Blade Master or uh, what is it? Attacking double strike. We were on that earlier. We were on like anthems and such, and we weren't on like you know an infinite wombo. Yeah, you're talking about the um, from the the guy from Strixhaven. Is that what you mean? Whoa, Moto Sevenson. Hang on, it's taken a while to search it up. New double strike. I was actually playing it though, K Dors. Um, when we were on just Winota as more of like a fair plan, we were doing um, we were doing that actually. We were playing uh, the changeling that lets us pump. We were playing the double strike cumin. I was trying. I was trying to do some of what the Angras Marauders build tries to do, which is just win through the humans. So that that is a weakness of going for like a Kiki build. Is I'm more reliant on the evolutions and the faunas, and the, well, I have to run something like a fauna or like a, a court of calling. Um, I like that fauna though triggers the Winota. I have liked that aspect of it. I technically could even if I wanted to get you know wrecked by this remand or whatever they have like evolve the champion i'm not going to do that i think i'm just going to play the um fauna shaman attack for one 
Why not just play Paul Blade? How was it? I liked it a lot, uh, K Dors. I might go back to that build. We're testing. I, I'm literally trying to show and stream and go through pretty much every different way imaginable that we can think to every different engine imaginable. Um, not 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 every 75 possible. Just every engine. Try it for a while. See if we like it. I, I have liked the all-in Kiki build. We're not even playing any Restoration Angels in this build. I had Resto Angels in, in an earlier build. Yeah, it's just straight-up blue-black control. This is not good for us, maybe, for our health. So we need we need green-green. We'd like red-red, so the perfect land for this is obviously um, Stomping Grounds. What about Stoneforge? I, I wouldn't play Relic Seeker. I, I would play Stoneforge. I've seen people do Stoneforge with Wynota. Usually it's the Taxus builds, though. Too bad this is a human and not, like, a core or something because we can't get a trigger. What is this, Cryptic? Like, if I was to Wynota by sacrificing the spawn, I might be willing to El Eldritch the spawn, get a two-drop. I don't feel like I'm giving up so much if I do that. I mean, I'm... I'm I'm giving up an evolution, and I'm giving up the spawn, but I might be okay playing into one of their counter spells with using the using the spawn. What about brain in a jar? Hey, what's up, aggro? There you go. The throwback. The throwback. Whoa, they're going to... Yeah? So I guess I'm not doing anything. I mean, I guess they get to drown my... Yes. I guess they get to drown my... Eldrazi spawn if I don't do anything. But why, why would I give up a, an evolution? Like, we're about to have a board of no creatures. I think we're losing against this blue-black control wombo. Excited to see what they're up to. It feels like in these go-long blue-black decks, it's it's tough to play hand-hate. Opponent decides not to drown my spawn. Sure. But why why wouldn't you? It was, it was free. Okay. Maybe they're worried I had something I could flash in. I, I don't know. It's good to see you, Agrofiend. How have you been? You still still living in Texas? There's got to be a sweet way to incorporate Luris. Uh, Luris is sweet because it's a non... I think I just throw the Winota into this counterspell they have. What do you got? Show me... Logic Knot? I'm trying to guess maybe what they would be. I mean, it could just be another Drown. Show me Cryptic Command. I don't think we're winning this one, folks. <laughs> Still, how am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing a lot better. Uh, I was unemployed. I am no longer... Um, well, it's 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 a long story. I'll have to tell you sometime, Agro. And before I get Gear Hulk... Yeah, Gear Hulk. Now we're talking. I like me some Gear Hulk. Mutavault? Oh. They're playing fairies, guys. They're playing fairies. I do believe in fairies. You think I'm jesting? I, I really don't. I, th I think they might legitimately be on fairies. I think we're about to get animate mutavault, spell stutter sprite, counter this. Watch. Like, why else would you be on mutavault except not for. And then the dark slick shores makes a lot more sense. So they are playing fairies. Watch this. Spell stutter sprite next. And I don't have green green for evolution. I thought uh, the Dark Slick made me suspicious of fairies, as did the Inquisition, but now I'm sure. Seems like a tough matchup. Moons seem good. Not impossible. I didn't say impossible. It just seems tough. Scoos for t uh, Teague for Cryptics and such. Veil of Summers. I don't want to play the paths, actually. Do you think they have, like, Damnation, even? I guess they just drew the more controlling side of the deck and not so many of their threats or Bitter Blossoms and such. Ah, uh, Bitter Blossom actually don't have a great answer besides, like, Apparition. I think we have to play Apparition because Bitter Blossom. Now, the Champion was interesting. I, I actually don't think Champion's all that great. Nor do I think Fiend Hunter is good. All that good. I like Knight. I like Apparition. I like Teague. Four cuts to make. Uh, I mean, the, the game's going to slow down. Maybe we cut on our nest nests. We've been doing that a lot lately, but I think as we sideboard, I don't know. 
it's it's tough. I, I, maybe I should stop just cutting these out. Like maybe we trim a Wynota because the game goes longer before we cut all the all the invaders. Maybe I even cut an elf. Maybe it's more like that. We've we have actually cut down on Wynotas before post board. Against blue decks, you might even argue that the the Eldritch Evolutions can be they're so important to the deck, but they man do they feel bad if they have a relevant counter spell. So I don't know. Let's try something like that. Maybe cut a Fauna Shaman. I don't know. They're not going to play a board wipe usually. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't bring in our, our some of our anti board wipe tech. The um, the human that uh, yeah kind of acts like a bad. I mean, it's not bad because we're a Wynota deck, but um, this hand comes out of the gates a lot more quickly. That's what we want to do. Because their their two mana counter spell of choice is spell stutter sprite. They actually won't be able to stop the Eldritch. Um, this time maybe. I'm gonna lead on Lenore. Elves, actually, instead of uh, birds. If they, pay, if they play Bitter Blossom, they'll die. <laughs> oh, bringing your dino. Oh. They take damage on that. Yeah. That was a cool idea. Frostodon, make them take two damage off of the Bitter Blossom triggers. Maybe we'll do that next game. If there is a next game. And they do play like brutality and such. I'm I'm aware of, you know, such things. Can we really afford to green green, red source? I'm I'm thinking about Kiki Jiki. If you're wondering, I actually don't think I should, just get basic. Um, I think I should get, um, stomping ground. I can still spellbinder next turn. Off of the the windswept, it's just it's just a little bit painful. We're on the play. We can we can be a little greedy with our our land decisions. I mean, the the reason I didn't lead birds, which would have made this the easiest, is I'm thinking this is getting fatal pushed. But maybe I'm just getting inquisitioned. Yeah, I'm getting pushed. So glad I didn't lead up with birds. I think I think I go land where elves again. Knight, okay. Elves a second time. We're kind of hoping they just play um, Bitter Blossom here. Actually, no, that's not true. I should play both. If they hit birds, so be it. Let's fetch in such a way that we got good, good, good colors going on. Let's go Temple. A little painful, but no matter which dorks they kill, we've got good clean mana if they kill some of these. I feel like I feel like if they're spending the, a push on the first land where elves, you got to be committed, right? they got to kill, like, Birds of Paradise now, next. Right, you gotta commit to this. Worst case would be the brutality, my birds, and take the evolution. Right? Honestly, I like cutting evos against f fairies. I don't see it evolve. Yeah, may maybe we actually do. Maybe maybe the Y Nota is the better engine. I mean, against blue decks, it's, it's rough, right? Okay, wow, they do play the Bitter Blossom. Do I actually just want to see their hand instead of knighting away the Bitter? I mean, I like the idea of not even letting them get the first fairy. It's kind of tempting to spellbind, though. Spellbinder them. It's a good thought. It's an interesting thought. Could evolve into a Magus of the Moon and still have the uh, Minota being a 4-4 four four is good, too. Yeah, I think, I think that's fair. I think I am just going to knight this. That's why we brought it in. We should just hit the card before they get value. No value for you. And also, every I mean every fairy that they get into play, Bitter Blossom gives them two fairies, makes their spell stutter sprites much stronger. Yeah, let's just get rid of. Definitely Knight the Bitter. I think we do. And hit him for one. I was kind of hoping for land drop. But maybe this is fine. Also, you don't want to get ninja do they play Ninja of the Deep? Opponent is considering scooping to my Knight of Autumn. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of good to say about trying to have a more combo-y finish than we've had in the past. But I, I have tried to play the deck more fairly. More just value, grindy, 
Um, we were playing Princes and Pyros. I'm sad that we don't have that anymore, actually. That was really cool to loop through. You like do Pyromancers, and then you hit um, some. There's some number of Charming Prints, and you blink the Pyro, draw more cards. I think. I think that was really neat. We also we could just evolve the um, we could evolve the uh, the knight into. I don't know if I'd evolve it into Kiki Jiki necessarily. Depends on what they do. They play oh Shinobi. That's sweet. Isn't Shinobi like four mana to Ninjutsu? That's that's a really sweet one though. Yeah, you you get to cast their spells. Is this another bidder? Ooh, terminate. Sure. You got it. I'm actually glad they didn't hit my one of my other creatures there. Drew copper line. Does it make us happy? I mean, we we spellbind fauna shaman, right? Yeah. I mean, imagine spellbinding their their um, cryptic. Bunch of fairies and a drown. Drown hits the things I don't want it to. I think I just take the drown. Maybe I'm supposed to hit the Vendillion click because you want to make the more expensive spell more expensive, but I'm going to hit the Drown the Lock. Might have been incorrect. Like, maybe you are just supposed to hit the more expensive spell because then it's just all the more expensive and even, even like, click goes... You know, click Vendillion click going from 4 mana to... Sorry, 3 mana to 5 mana. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Bla Blaze says take the removal. I think that's right. I mean, like, Spellbinder can get blocked by these but anyway hey freak thanks for the raid thank you so much we've had uh, several generous raids tonight thank you so I uh, appreciate you we're probably getting clicked here right you gonna take my evolution I decide not to. I think we kind of just go for it, right? They can't drown. This is a window to evolve the Spellbinder. I can still play around Spell Pierce whether or not I play the land. I should just play the land. Like, it's not like I'm running a lot that benefits from us waiting. I think we should have gone for the, the Magus. We could have. They would have just had Island. Maybe you're right. What do you got? Did you draw into an answer? You're going to make us feel very sad. Or are we glad? No, they have it. No. No. Yes. Remand. What do you got? Oh, we're not in a league at the moment, Freak. We did play some leagues earlier today. I played a league with a... Uh, with, uh, a weird Mardudu deck, actually. Right now we're doing some sort of why well, know it's a value kiki. Let's just call it I don't know what we're calling it anymore, but um I was playing a Mardudu deck. Mardu deck. I don't want to offend all the people that love Mardu by saying Mardudu. Um Let's see. Uh, it was like a... Oh, what did it look like? Mardu... Pyro? No. Gorio's Blink. Here we go. This one. This is what we played a league earlier with today. I think we went 2-3 or 3-2. Something not that great. I think it was actually a 2-3. Although, in fairness, one of the matchups I should have won. Something like this. Doing cool things with, like, First Sphere, Gargantua. Oh, this is resolving. Get the Wynota. Tax. This is where the Fauna Shaman fun begins, right? We're actually using it for the not tutor mode. We're using it for the trigger mode, right? They might like put the spell stutter or the Vendillion click in to block the the birds. Get some triggers. Three triggers hope to win. Oh yeah, like we could hit the Magus. Actually, maybe I should have fetched into a basic forest before. We start doing these triggers. It also thins our deck. What is this? Sure. 
they look at themselves, right? Yes. Sometimes you look at yourself and you wonder, and you wonder. Sometimes. They tucked a spell stutter sprite. I get a basic, right? We already have red, red, red for keeks. I think I actually do get to steal oh, the whiff. It's okay. It'll happen on occasion. Now we get the goods. Um, so, Bell Ringer does untap. There, I mean, there's also the witness to consider. Witness. There's elves to recast. We could just take the knight or the spellbinder. Spellbinder's tempting to take. I'm not convinced I'm just supposed to take Ringer because I don't actually have a way to... I mean, yes, it would generate some mana, but there's nothing else left in my hand. Yeah, funny funny enough, I might actually just want Witness here and grab maybe Spellbinder, maybe Land of War Elves, go for the E-Witness. I think it is, too. I'm just trying to figure out... I think it's Spellbinder, right? Yeah. Maybe that's wrong because they're already on four lands, though. Yeah, maybe actually that's wrong. Well, now it's relevant if we... Oh, okay, well, or we just hit a Pyromancer and we're just discarding it. That's why we E-Witnessed. So if we Pyroed, we could... Oh, okay, cool. We got some, we've got some gas. Just block here. Maybe that's why they played Click, because they want to hit the Fauna Shaman. I think we're okay with that. This board's awesome, and yeah, they don't, they don't play... They don't tend to play Damnation. I mean, sure... Sure, maybe this is like their last two cards. You know, we have Cryptic and such, but. Killing Wainota. Oof. So which of you was saying they don't play Damnation? I believed you. I believed you. <laughs> Why did you let me believe you? Why did I believe you, chat? You let me straight. It happens all the time. As much as I, as much as I am endeared by you, chat, sometimes you're wrong. It's okay. All right, we play this Magus of the Moon. Maybe still win anyway. Time to bend. No. Oh, actually, I was supposed to play a Wino to first. Well, it's hard to say. I think I did want to cut them on their colors. Let's play this out. I think I did want to cut them on the black and triple blue. It stinks that they just naturally have the two islands. No, they fetched one, didn't they? No, they just... Oh, we turn off the tar pit. That's relevant. I think I still stand by what we did. The sequencing. I know it's easy to say that because... Oh, we, and we also have this Pyromancer tokens coming up. So we're not completely out of gas. This card's nuts. This card's the nuts. Damnation's also the nuts. But Season Pyromancer, also the nuts. Yeah, I would, I would never do that over that freak. <laughs> surely, surely we are trolling by saying such things, right? One, two, three, four, five. Make some tokens. Attack. Draw our basic planes. I don't want them to know I just drew a foundry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, throw some kappa on that. I, no, I figured it was a joke, freak. I figured. Oh, no. What are we doing over there? You didn't need to tap both of your blue sources to cast this. That got tucked. They just cast that. This was played. Drown and the lock is still exiled, and it costs a million. You know what's funny? The uh, that was I think earlier somebody was saying um, that we should definitely spellbind the drown and the lock. Absolutely correct. That decision over taking the other things. Like it really did matter to take that instead of something else. Yeah, it was you, Blaze. Right? You were saying you were confirming. You were saying yes drowned for sure they never actually got to recast it it's still sitting in exile sorry for the misinformation oh no you're fine k doors you don't need to own up to anything i i'm also making a joke of it because i actually think that damnation might be fine in their list it's 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 not that strange in a more control style um fairies and maybe you really can't play fairies in this meta without something like damnation right Ooh, we just draw pyro might as well play the land. Pyro. Pyro because I could hit the planes. And, oh, well, maybe not. All right. Ooh, Pyro again, but Veil of Summer. Let's attack first. 
tech first. Yeah, watch me just like overcommit again, right? It's, we're not doing that, chat. We've got plenty of dudes on the board. We're happy. They're probably dead. Okay. What was the sideboard I did wrong? Somebody said because um, play play Ferocidon. So that that was us only on. Okay, so somebody was saying trim evolutions because they're really bad against uh, counter magic. You're right. They are bad against counter magic. Um, so do we actually start trim? It's such a build around card for us, but yes, they are bad against permission. I'll, I'll trim some. Let's run the Glyph Weaver because damnation. Um, huh. Play the Ferocid on. Play Linvala? Really? Just Oh, because she flies? Is that really the reason? Okay. So you want me to just cut all the, but like, I feel like I've never just cut Evos. Is this, is this something I should be doing against control opponents on occasion? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like we should still run some number of evolutions. It's a copy of the abyss. Surely, surely we still want some, or is it just so bad? Honestly, we should cut. E oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If truth. And then we're not on the... But I feel like we just, like, wait, what is our plan anymore? Go wide with Winota Seasoned? You really could just beat them with Mediocre Winota? Well, we need to make sure we have enough humans. Um, oh, Champion, too. If that's the plan... If, if, hey, if this is the plan, Winota? All right. Fiend Hunter. Uh, the first bell ringer is kind of sweet because it gives us the pseudo vidal. Maybe we don't even need it though, against them. Are we really taking out Kiki combo? I, gu I guess. Okay. That'll, that'll be the first time we've sideboarded it out. Four four so good though. Mediocre beats. Okay. All right. Submit. I mean, young, uh, young. <laughs> Pyromancer is such a powerful card that I do, I do feel like, uh, well, that's that's not our current list. This list was fun too, more fun with season Pyromancer. Um, so our current build doesn't do nearly as good of a job of with the um, with the beatdown plan. <laughs> We're missing several key components, which, by the way, brings me to this thought that we've had, which is if we can squeeze them in, the double strike cr threat, like really, really all we've needed in the past, if we don't want to play the Marauders, by the way, is just these two creatures. Bare minimum. If, if we want to have a reasonable beatdown plan, you play uh, Historian and you play the Changeling. If we want the Wino to um, beat down plan to really exist. In my opinion, you want some sort of antheming or double like giving them double strike, something like that. So if we go back to playing these, this is actually here. If we go back to playing these, we're increasing our human count. Um, I mean, we were originally uh, on two, two bell ringers. But anyway, just a thought. Uh, Teague, Bird, Veil, vale, maybe. Maybe this is fine. We're on the draw. This is a lot of lands for us to have in an opener. I also don't know if I want to just slam birds because they're an Inquisition deck. They're a Fatal Push deck. I, I mean, maybe we should... I feel like we totally give away that we have Veiled. Well, they may know anyway with an Inquisition, but I, I feel like if we slow slow down and like go um, like not turn one our birds, I feel like that's kind of an indication that maybe I have Veil, however... That would be amazing. Yeah, I, I really do think you don't need that many card slots dedicated to um, dedicated to the beatdown plan. I think it really does just take two, maybe three humans. We've also played, there's another anthem we liked, the one that when we play fetches, we... Um, you know, it's weird to do that in the upkeep. It's fine, though. Birds, birds. don't like how I've been playing sequencing a lot of this this game it's fine though I think I like protecting Teague yeah me too 
that's kind of the line I'm going for. If, I, if I'm going for a line, that's what I'm going for. Push the birds? Okay. Hey, that's, that's something that would have killed Teague. If I can draw a different green source, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'd rather play the... Well, for mana efficiency's sake, wouldn't we rather play the Nest Invader here? I think I'm supposed to nest. Do some nesting. It's awkward that I only have... It's rare that I only have one green source, but we just... We naturaled into these others, so that's what I get for running the main deck. Oh, are we going to counter this? They might be spell stuttering this. Okay. All right. Frost on off the top one time. Does it really do that much to the Bitter Blossom plan? I mean, like, when we play creatures too, we're going to take damage. Counter spell. That's actually really excellent for us that we drew this. All right, so what do we need to do? Um, Teague protect Teague, right? That was our plan. Teague protect Teague. P Bitter Blossom's good. The token deal damage faster than I'm losing life. It's so awkward to not play one of my dorks. We we've got we've made plenty of land drops anyway. Fatal push. Petty theft. If I counter the Petty Theft, they don't get to recast this. By the way, Petty Theft is sweet. If this gets countered, it goes to the bin, and they don't get the other... They don't get the adventure site. Oh, wow, we drew a Winota. And Teague, conveniently, although they definitely have Spell Sputter... Blah, 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 spell Stutter as a counter. But I might not have the luxury of waiting. I might just need to slam this, you know? Um, although then the Teague gets toasted, and gets blocked and eaten, and Teague, I'm sorry, but... Maybe we need the Wino to trigger more. Well, it depends. Maybe this isn't resolving. Maybe this is getting um, countered. I think we should just slam it. Slam a Jamma. Ooh, Skyclave. That's another reasonable line. Hit the Bitter Blossom. Because they might fight over this, and then we get to play both of these, and then we get lots more Wino to triggers without having to give up. Yeah. Our Teagster. I like that way better. Skyclave. This gets countered. We anticipate. Did not. So what is, the, what is their hand? Must be some four drops. We actually get to get a free swing in here, potentially. The, the only issue is exactly Snapcaster Mage. Maybe I don't want to throw Teague into the Snapcaster. Was there an opportunity earlier they could have used Snapcaster? Should I hold back? I actually think their hand is a Snapcaster. Like, I'm trying to think of what it could be, right? It's got to be like Cryptic Damnation, something like that, right? If they're not, like, because most of their other spells are under Gaddic Teague, mana-wise. Oh, wow, that's a lot of damage. Ouch. Okay. What am I hoping for? I'm hoping for Veil. Like, Veil would be probably the perfect draw here. Pyro. All right, we'll just slam it. What do you got? I still can Pyromancer after this. Maybe I should have Pyromancer first. Well, no, because then if it resolves, you don't get the White Nota. What do you got? Oof. Mana Lake? I can pay for that. And I do. Mana dorks to save the day. Second mana leak. That's actually really clutch from them. And I, I really think that they have a Snapcaster block here. They do play Snapcasters. Okay. Uh, two cards. One of them is probably a four drop that they can't cast. If I swing at the Teague, I open us up to... I'm okay if they get the the token. I'm, I'm going to still play around the snap the Ambush Viper. My nota, that's a little disappointing, but now we get to attack with it. She gives herself haste and indestructible. Not what we really want to see. Get to, we get to hit them for four more damage, so it's kind of a consolation Winota. 
I mean, that's the thing when you play the playset. We we were running the playset right now. This is this is our plan. This is what we're trying to do, without without any evolutions. We're still maybe getting there. I may swing swing Teague this time though, to just trounce them. Mediocre beats. We're getting there, maybe. Lynn Fala. All right, so I think we swing the team. This time I'm not so afraid of the – I mean, like, yeah, I care about the snap cash that's about to happen, but I think I just got to push through. And if they did have snap cash, they would have used it already. Witness back the veil of summer. Are you going to let me pick this up? Oh, they do. Sweet. It's pretty good in this matchup. Um – yeah, like, what is their hand? Am I supposed to grab champion, though, so we gain some life? Because I'm at five. I actually think I'm going to go champion. Like, Spellbinder, I think, does make a lot of sense. But I'm a, I have two more Winota triggers, and that's a lot more life. And, oh, there's the, there's the Glyph Weaver. But, like, I don't think Damnation's an out for them any. Well, they have to remove this first. I'll just take this. I think it's actually... Um, was probably always yes, always yield. I think it could have been Pyromancer on that trigger. We're seeing a lot of the juicy stuff. We're seeing the juicy stuff. Um, oh, Magus of the Moon. Cut them off of... What do I cut myself off of? Nothing so much. Not really. I can't cast Linvala, but what do I gain? I gain... Um, cutting them off of black seems smart. Also, aren't they just dead? This is a lot of damage. I didn't even bother to sit there and count how much I was hitting them with. I think they, they're just dead. Witness the veil. Why not? Why wouldn't I want this? Brew baby, do you ever even sleep? What's up, D20 Bandito? I am going to sleep at some point. We've been having a, a nice week of streams and lot, lots of generous... Um, yeah, lots of generous hostings and raids, mostly raids. I think they were all raids, actually. We got there. Sweet. So, yeah. So, it, again, if you want the beats plan to be more feasible, um, these were the, these. this was the minimum package that I found from lots of testing that I really liked was uh, Mirror Entity Blade Historium. Um, I don't think you necessarily, I'm, I, and again, I'm not trying to throw any sort of shade or, I, I've played the Marauder's Build, and, and I, I think that the deck can, can work with some combination of these other, there's other anthems we tried, there's one that's like, as, um, oh, what was it? I can't think of it, but it was like, all creatures get plus one, plus one on a two, three, but it's a two, three, four, five, it's so bad. There's got to be better, better things. Mediocre Winota beats. Yeah, so so I think I'm fine with this being our win, and maybe we trim two ringers. Makes a Kiki kill less consistent, but now we have, we're we're back to playing some of our other um, avenues to victory. I just can't get behind it in the lava dart format. Yeah. So maybe this is maybe this isn't the anthem. So let's let's do some research, right? Let's do research again. One card chat. One card. Something that I mean, like maybe we just played two blade historians. I thought about that too, but I, I want something that's gonna grow the team. We've tried what is it, Marjal, Majahal? Is it Maja? I think it's Maj. We've played Maj, Majahal or whatever. I think I'm playing the fancy one. Yeah, we were we were trying this. So Maja helps us with our go wide strategy. Other creatures you control get plus one plus one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, we get to make a white. It's too bad it's not a warrior. It is unfortunately a human token. Um, she's two three though. I don't love that she just dies to a bolt, but I mean so does Kiki. So we we like this. We were trying that. If you hit three humans off Wynota. Will the double strike even matter? Um, I think it does. This lets us close like in one combat, potentially, depending on how many triggers I got. We can close 
Like p- pair this with some sort of anthem effects, and you can close in one combat. Um, in a similar way that the Angraths, like yes, I have to hit the nuts, but like in, in a similar way that the Angraths Marauders build is hoping to hit, you know, double up on these. Right now, that's the other thing we could do is we could di- dilute the combo, try to play this without. Like I, I don't like playing this package without the lightning bolts though. Like I do, I, I think, I think it, it, yes, it could still be strong, but I think, um, other reasons to play an anthem has to do with the fact that I have several zero power creatures. Let me, let me clarify. I don't think I explained this card slot very well. Um, why I want some number of. Um, anthem effects is because we have things like spell sketch. We have things like um, the nest invader, uh, uh, Eldrazi spawn. We have uh, birds of paradise. So we have a lot of creatures that don't have any attack power at all. So it's really important. In so- in some ways, you could argue it's more important than the blade historian that I have anthem effects. Um, right, zero times two is still zero. Um, if you want to get in close combat, why don't you just jam? For Spellbinder. Spellbinder is actually pretty sweet. I've, I've really warmed up to the card. Spellbinder. You think I should just be jamming a bunch of that card? I mean, I liked having it as a tutor target. You think it's just just jam all of them? Makes us a better combo deck. It's going to be easier for us to resolve our combo, potentially. So you think we should just be playing a bunch of those? Take to the sky. Sp- a Spellbinder does pair nicely with the double strike effect. So you think we should have more of this effect? Hmm. Weren't, weren't, weren't you guys some of the same ones that were saying that this is the lava dart format? Like, this guy does just get darted, though. But <laughs> I guess it still does the disruption. Grab, like, a metamorphose or something. I think I'm going to cut one Nest Invader. I want one other thing. Let's try Let's try the second Spellbinder. I think you're right that it could be good enough. Second Spellbinder. Um, oh, you know what? We don't have to necessarily play Fiend Hunter over the other anymore, actually. Um, because, although this block's better and that kind of makes sense in a Kiki build, if we're going to play Blade Historian, I want the other one. We're not playing Restoration Angel anymore, necessarily. Um... Maybe we should be, though. I actually was really liking the Restos. Hopefully we're going to get Palace Jailer. Yeah. I was. I do miss the Restos, actually. Let's go back to the Resto build. So we try. We tried a build where we just had a lot more of the Bell Ringers. Um, and I don't mind two copies. I think it'd still be good. Let's, let's go back to playing some number of Angels. I like the Kiki package to be, like, I think four copies. Four of something. First Angel, I think, has a lot of value. As long as I'm running some number of angels, I'd rather this be a fiend hunter because of its uh, the template templating. Um, Kador says I still think it gets better when you cut the Kiki package. However, I realize, or, but I realize you're trying to show off the different builds. Well, thank you for understanding. Um, yeah, I, I I think I think you're I think you're certainly right. I think that's something I'm also realizing too as I test it. I'm realizing that I kind of want to go back to. Um, here, I'll show you. Let's open a new copy. I'm gonna le- I'm gonna save this build, the Kiki build. I think that's where we're ending that one. Um, all right. So, could we go back to my original stip stipulation of I want to play variant and it's card for card it should look a little similar right maybe we don't main deck both spell binders spell binders i want to play a version of it that is let's and let's try three nest invaders i want to try a version of this that is on the fair beatdown plan with with some bullets right fair de- fair beatdown plan that um is resilient we're antheming our zero power creatures so that they benefit from something like a blade historian. I respect what you're saying about how 
you don't like um, the changeling with all the gut shots and stuff floating around. Let's let's find humans we actually like. I mean, there's Geist Honored Monk. That's not an anthem though. That, that doesn't solve our problem. We're looking for anthems. We're still looking for anthems. There's there's uh, a champion, the one that as we like. I think that that card could actually work in multiples. I just, I want something that's hard castable. My problem with Marauders is seven mana. We were trying. Maybe we just didn't test it long enough. There's there's there is an anthem that's also for non humans. That on the surface looks really bad, but it's it's actually not. I think. Adaptive Automaton? No, maybe? Play Automatons? But Automaton isn't a human, right? I want I want humans. Sorry, let me let me clarify what I'm looking for. And we were trying like the extra turn or the extra combat phase human. We were trying Audric. We we tried a lot of different humans for this slot. But I think that maybe the reason it didn't work is I didn't commit fully to it. I think if we're on this planet it should maybe be double blade historian. Um, because they can kill the first one. A, B, I think it's one of the best. What, what is it? Not Heron's Grace. We've thought about Heron's Grace because it gives me the. Actually, the first Heron's Grace is maybe fine, because sometimes that that life boost is huge. Let's play Blade Historian number two. Humans that pump non-humans. I'm okay with the first Herons. Let's play the first Herons because giving giving why no to plus one plus one life link is actually huge for us like it's like a it's like a batter skull swing right so heron's grace number one now let's play two of the champion five five mana tristani no 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 what about this one um i missed it it, it on the surface it's gonna look really bad but we actually didn't find any other anthems besides uh mashal majahal and Actually, the first Majahal probably does go in this build. We just don't care if it gets bolted. Um, we're going to play a Maj, and I think we're going to try the... Um, it's not, its name isn't Champion, isn't it? It's like... Um, it's a human creatures you control for each. It's like each each creature we have enter the battlefield. Each creature enter... Because the, the goal is, I want ones that are hard castable that give us the anthem that actually let the birds deal the damage, get the benefit of the double strike. Um, well, let's just grab Maj because I can remember how it's spelled. I think a split of Heron's Grace and this other human I just can't think of. It's it's four mana. We thought we thought it was use. We thought it was going to work, and then it didn't. But we never tried it again. I, I'm with you on two elite spellbinders, though. I actually think that card's quite sweet. Um, and flexible. The fact that it works against even non-combo decks. You can use it against control very effectively. You can use yeah, it's 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 got game. Um breaks up combos, even th even things like like against Heliod you can grab a company with it and then the company's very expensive. Um It's not champion. Human It's a very unassuming anthem. Human creature enter the battlefield it feels like a really bad non-permanent uh um thalia effect i'll know it when i see it folks <laughs> bear with me here let's find it i do think it's the kind of a card that would benefit from or it could just be the found it or it could be geist it could be just just play geists right what we were trying is gold knight as commander that's what i was trying to think of gold knight and I do think it's the kind of card that it, its effectiveness goes up if it's in multiples, right? Theoretically, because they see each other. You you want, yeah. I think I actually might try this card again. The the issue with when we played the fun of or even the two of was if you don't see it at the beginning, like on the first Y Nota trigger or or some of the earlier Y Nota triggers, it just doesn't do enough. That was my issue with it. Why don't you just play Barrow Fist of Crosa? What does Barrow do again? Whenever forced enters the battlefield, green creatures. That's too specific. Only forests. Whenever forests enter, only green creatures. So this just pumps any creature, though. 
Can I cut that? There we go. The the Gold Knight Commanders just affect any creature. Now the problem is already what? Our package is six. Six is a lot higher than what? Six is quite a few more cards than the... Not really. Because technically, I, I still firmly believe that the uh, the Angrath's Marauders package is actually... An eight. It's like a seven to eight card package. I really do think that it's not nearly as effective of a kill unless you're also running some burn spells main deck. But for all, for all intents and purposes, this is quite a few cards, right? Um... But I think it's about this many that would take for me to achieve what I'm trying to achieve, which is a, a, a burst kill that's purely in humans, that's purely most most likely ha hard castable, that also grows things like birds, things like the spell skite, the nest invader tokens, so that they actually um, benefit from the double strike fully. What about tactician? Is that better? What about Orza Pontiff? I like Pontiff. There's also, um, there's, uh, what is the all human? Well, Pontiff is all creatures. That's a good point. Orza Pontiff is all creatures. I was trying to keep us in Naya, but maybe the first Pontiff. Yeah, Pontiff is an anthem effect. Yes, that's true. Granted, it's a one-time anthem. Tactician. I'm not f I don't know if I'm familiar with Ampere and Tactician. Let's check it out. This one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the... Mm -hmm. uh, Gold Knight has a lot more potential, though. Did you read it? Or you're just trying to give me the other options, Blaze. I appreciate you looking up, looking into the other options. I still think the Gold Knights have a lot of potential in our Season Pyromancer Nest Invader deck. I do. Maja nonsense. Honestly, the Kaldheim one seems like the best. What, Maja? Adaptive Automaton. It, yeah, it's too bad that Adaptive Automaton isn't a... Let, well, let's, let's, try, let's try the Gold Knight build again. We've tried it in the past. Let's commit to it. Heron's Grace, sure, it only pumps the humans, but the fact that it uh, gives us that lifelink boost, I think, is relevant. Um... There's all, I mean, there's also other humans to consider. There's the one that gives everybody lifelink, like all creatures lifelink, not just our humans, but I think I think I want it to be Heron's Grace. Um, there's, um, there's the menace creatures you control, which is not irrelevant. It's, it's like a red three-drop human would really help us to swing through. We've talked about. Honestly, what you really want is Kong. What? Kong Ming? Who? I don't know the name of this. I'm not familiar with this called. I'll check it out. Did you find the perfect spice for what I'm trying to accomplish? And this is in modern? Are you modern legal? Doesn't look like it. I don't think it is. Yeah, not not modern legal. I was like, I didn't recognize the name of the creatures you control. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Are you sure that's what we want? That's what Maja does. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Maja, uh, the Bredegard Protector, does do that. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Granted, it's five mana instead of four, but it also has the whenever a land enters, we get we get tokens. The problem is it's legendary and I don't necessarily want to run a two of, but maybe I should be. Let's try this package of six. Let's give it a shot. We need to cut one card. Maybe third Nest Invader? Maybe? Don't want to cut too much of that stuff, otherwise the deck doesn't really function. All right. Um, as It doesn't function as well, as quickly. All right, uh, Heron's Grace. I think the first Grace is good, potentially. We have enough humans now, especially with this build, this this finisher package. Yeah. So give me a Heron's Grace. Champion, give me 
second blade historian just so we more more consistently have the the double strike um give me uh the gold knight commanders numbers one and two spellbinder number three I think this might work. I, I do think that, that the Changeling has a lot more potential than Commander, but wh what do I know? Like, I think that you make a valid point um, that it is a very vulnerable card. You know, human count's great. And this, <laughs> this version has really nice human count, maybe even too many, right? And we start to, we're lacking in the non-humans count a little bit. Oh, we don't need Witness anymore necessarily. I'm not on Kiki build anymore. I mean, I think Witness is a good card, but that would let me get another Nest Invader back in. Um, yeah, Human Count looks great. That's that's awesome. Give me give me third Nest Invader, um, or or one of our sideboard non-humans could be main deck like the the Apparition. Apparition is just such a good card. I kind of miss it in the main deck. Gives me another sideboard slot. What else do we want on the sideboard? Do we want... Um, like, this is the version of the deck that would benefit from... What's his name? The, um, the, the human commander. Other humans you control. Graveyard. He's got... He would make his bl splash black, though. But... Why don't you just play the changeling? Just make sure you leave up three mana. I, I, that's the thing, right? Is, like... That's... That is... So we, we could go back to playing Kudro. Other humans you control get plus one, plus one. So if, if we're on, like, if we're already playing Heron's Graces, this makes sense to me. Um, whenever this or another human enters the battlefield, we get to exile cards from an opponent's graveyard. We can sack two humans to destroy something. That last mode, not as relevant for us. But this could be a sideboard card. It's just now, all of a sudden, I need to consider getting us into the Black Splash. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, we, we're not as... We don't need our mana base to be nearly as red now that we're not on uh, Kiki. Maybe we don't need the basic mountain. Maybe we don't play even the, the Firelit Thicket. But if you're on Kudra, I like Pontiff even more. Yeah, like, so So instead of the Gold Knight Commander slots, we could do a Black Splash, and yeah, we could do like a split of Pontiff Kudro. Maybe, maybe that's, like, the Gold Knight Commander's... We have had some issues with them. Yeah, I guess if we're not on Kiki, we could we could be greedy and splash black, and then we get the sideboard. Um, oh, what is it? We get to run our greedy black, our singleton black sideboard we were running before. What was it called? Oh, what was it called, folks? Well, I need the overgrown tomb to start. Although, I mean, like we're we're yeah, no tomb. Tomb. I think I'll. I think I play Tomb before I play. It, it's awkward, but the fire lit. Um, yeah, All right, and I think I cut the basic mountain. We're not on the Kikis anymore. I think I can justify that. Um, it's not like it help us helps us with our Magicus of the Moon really. Um, don't be greedy on black cyborg cards. Only play Silver Quill Silencer. I was. I was gonna play like one of the most sideboard black cards in modern. I was going to play, um, what does Silver Quill Silencer do? Choose an online card. I mean, I, I feel like, I feel like what I would play, Blaze, is I would actually play, um, Plague Engineer. It's, it's like the one black tutor target I keep coming back to that I keep wishing we still had the black splash. Certainly not main deckable. I'm going to play a Plague Engineer, I think, is the last card. And then, um, yeah, let's get these cards. So what do we need? Spellbinder. Um, I'll still pick up the Gold Knight Commanders. They, they don't cost anything. Orzhov. Pontiff is... Potent yeah, I mean, it's, it's main deckable because it's giving us the Anthem effect we want. General Kudro gives us Anthem at least for our humans. 
I think I've known for a while that if we're going to be on the beatdown plan, that the Blade Historian is the one that I kind of want two of, if, if any of, of them. Just want to really make sure that we have the double strike. And, and I wonder if there are other humans that give us that double strike. I mean, there's, there's like a five drop that does it, but Blade Historian persists through the turns. And I know it's weird to have Blade Historian in my double forest tech. Um, something to think about. Are we are we are we also in a situation where I should just play the second planes as well comes to mind that I should maybe be instead of on all these wooded foothills that actually maybe I should be playing um, a split of like arid mesa even I, I I've wondered that oftentimes because we we do pretty consistently not consistently some amount of the time when we magic to the moon we cut ourselves on white and it feels bad and there are corner case situations where I wish I had the second planes uh, for our white white cards but also well yeah for the white white cards maybe maybe we actually do play the second basic planes and I have some arid mesas like maybe the first arid mesa happens I don't know Surely windswept's the better one if this if these are the basics I'm deciding on. I mean, like we will take a lot less damage too. I think I think maybe and then use fire lit, of course, hopefully to fill. I mean, like we'll, we'll hard cast these. I think it'll happen. Double forced, a little awkward, but hmm. oh yeah, Mesa can't get overgrown tomb though. I ch I changed my mind. I think I want to stick with foothills. Number two, but I don't. I don't hate planes number two because we can also just naturally draw it. Should we have to moon? So should we have to blood moon a little earlier than we wanted to? I think I might like trying second planes. How's our red sources doing? If I do all these changes. Maybe we shouldn't play double double razor verge thicket if I do that. Maybe it should be more copper line gorge. I think it should be more copper line gorge if I do that. The copper line gorge is going to complement the second planes I'm considering better. Um, yeah, third copper line gorge. Yeah, I mean, ba balancing mana bases, I've admitted to you guys tonight a couple times, surely, is a, is a weakness of mine, working on it. And I know what you might be thinking out there, you're like, yes, like, I like this a lot more, Bruce By, because you are, you are containing the deck to the thing, right? You're, you're, you're containing the deck... To, granted, now we're splashing into black again, but whatever. It's, it's for three cards. I think that's okay. We're, we're a Birds of Paradise list. Um, kind of get away with a, t a tiny extra splash. And there you go. We have our some main deck uh, Graveyard Hate again. And then we have the Scoos in the board, and Containment Priest. If we like, we have three pieces of Yard Hate now. Maybe that's too much. Are we now an Ancient Ziggurat deck? Um, I don't think so. Here's a list of. I mean, like, yes, a lot of our deck. Yeah, maybe some number. Like, let's see, the evolutions. The paths, the timelies, the veils, those need colors, but they don't need a lot of color. Uh, well, uh, evolution does. Ziggurat. Ziggurats. All right, four non creatures is less than humans, and they also use it. Well, these, but the they're non they're non human cards. Blaze Rider and Fairness are Aether vials. This is a green green sorcery that I have to resolve. I think I will disagree with you for the moment, but you might be right. And I don't mind admitting it. Let's give this a shot. There's 
We're on the humans plan. Doing human things. I mean, we're like we're like combo humans. If that exists. I like that the plague engineer's back. I kind of missed it. All right. Um. Let's jam. Got to play at least one game with this configuration. See if this other win condition is legit. I mean, again, it's probably going to feel win more until we tune it just right. But one, two, three, four anthem effects, pseudo anthem effects. Some of them only affect humans, right? This one and this one, but the others don't. They affect everybody. Two of the blade historians, because that's the one we really want to see. Oh, let's find a different opponent. I wonder if this opponent, I wonder if this player realizes that they have it set to buddies only. That is something that comes to mind. It, like, it looks like they're really hungry for a game, but they actually have it set to this. The game setting is buddies only. I wonder if I have to f maybe just look them up and friend them before they would let us play them. Anyway, uh, we can't keep this. It's a mulligan. Uh, we can keep this. This is a lot of land. Gonna put back the uh, the temple garden. It is it is nice that we're not as like we're not as enslaved to our mana base like we were with the uh, the arbor elf build. I do think arbor elf is better because it can filter us into the other colors, but um, I've kind of liked not running it. But if we play Ancient Ziggs, we get to be an all-creature sideboard. But I don't know if I want to be. Because Timely is one of the best uh, sideboard cards we found. We, we used to run a fun of. But, like, I, the fact that these are not humans has been huge for this card. It, is, it has brought us back from the depths against some of the more aggressive decks. And then we turn around, slam Wynota, and then the, the soldiers we made get us three Wynota triggers. I, I think there's a few, like, we, like, giving up Veil of Summer when we're pretty vulnerable to counter spells on our evolutions. I mean, unless our plan is to just side these out against blue decks, I think that's not... side all of them out against blue decks. Maybe maybe I'm supposed to... for each veil I bring in, I substitute an evolution. I, I don't know. Got there. Okay. Hmm. It's late at night. Maybe players don't have enough time to finish games. Path is important for us, too. So I'm playing, as far as non-creatures... Oh, this is tempting to keep on the draw. Maybe I shouldn't, though. I thought seize this, kill this. I think we played against this opponent earlier, maybe. Or they just have a similar taste in lands to that other blue-white opponent. Give us land, please. Looks like the same opponent, same exact art for op, same exact dial. So we're playing against blue eye control again. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, thanks for the suggestions, Blaze. Um, so we do hit our land, but it doesn't let me really cast anything I want to. Doubt that they would snap cast here. This is not great that we don't have. See, this greed is already hurting us. What's up, Corpsey? <laughs> the greed is immediately punishing us. I do think that the the extra like the when we went to the four color build, I moved away from Land of War Elves and I started playing, uh, considering Gilded Goose. We may need to do that again. The goose is loose, maybe. Goose also is more resilient in this gut shot format. Goose obviously has worse mana sustain, but it's also flying for Wynota triggers. I think if we're going to do the four color build, we should switch to Goose, and this is this is why. Bounce this, make me a sad boy. We draw 
Red source, we make them sad. Red source? Nope. Yeah. I, I actually think that we can scoop up the match. I think this is just a fundamental flaw. I think if we're going four colors, we swap the Lana Wars and we play Gilded Geese. Like, yes, it's awkward that it doesn't produce more than that first burst of mana versus like other mana dorks you could be playing. Um, I mean, we, we could play, we could even go with Noble Hierarch, right? Um, Noble Hierarch doesn't hurt us as much in this like humans do things build, right? Like these two are human specific. It might finally be time to play nobles. Nobles don't help us with... They're, they're better than Land of War because... Not so much because of the... Um, they just... Sure, they don't give me a Y Nota trigger, but I think the fact that it's going to be a... a, a it, we don't care about the blue that it gives us, but it's going to give us... It, it's essentially like an Avacyn's Pilgrim for us. We might have to be on nobles. I just don't think I can justify a goose, but we've had trouble with... I might just be on three nobles, guys. Like, I, I get it. Like, I really, really do want us to have non-humans leading up to what we're doing. But, for, for maximizing our Wynota triggers, but we're having color issues. <laughs> At least this is green and white, right? The Exalted's not irrelevant. We still favor birds. We still play four birds. This doesn't help us with our black. It doesn't help us with our red, but I, th I think this actually... There's, there's a case that some number of... I don't know. We could try a split of nobles. We could try a split of gilded geese. Maybe a split of nobles in something like Lena War. Because we're having, we're having color issues, and that's not good. Well, I know it's been sweet. We've been really enjoying it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Like, what is the split? Is it Noble, Noble, Lanawar? So let's look at our human to non-human ratio. Pontiff is also a human. Uh, non-human. Human. These are kind of in the middle. I do like to leave those in the middle and just remind myself that I mean like we're not playing Blade Splicer in this build. That's another thing we could do. We could play like Huntmaster. We could play Blade Splicer. We've we've done that before. Cause I feel like we're really, really lacking like this, yeah. Like we're starting to really lack in the non human department. Now granted Pyromancer bumps this number up to sixteen. Did I move the I did move the nobles over. I don't know, maybe we start start to move in this direction. Honestly, should we just be playing Ziggurats? No, 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 you're playing Eldritch. Yeah, so actually, you just missed Blade Rider in the chat saying we should be playing maybe something like Ziggurat. Um, yes. It's hard to balance all this, right? We're Magist of the Moon deck, but we th we're pretty sure that Blade Historian is, if I want to play one that's not so expensive. I mean, there is one that's not as hard on our colors, right? There is a different one that's not as hard on the colors. It's the one that's, you only get double strike once that turn. It, does, it doesn't persist like Historian does, but maybe maybe that's the better card for us. It is one more mana, though. Um, but, like, these Lana Wars just aren't cutting it, and Noble would be able to ca cast Blade Historian. I just hate the idea of cutting this more to play, to play Nobles? To play what? To play... I just need a different dork. But the guild the gilded goose the gilded geese just don't have the same sustain as the problem. Alright, one land of war. Um can we get this number up higher? We'd have to go back to sideboarding some of these pieces these non-humans I mean we can main deck the ooze again like that's one way to do it main deck ooze instead of main decking the uh, fiend hunter 
Oh, Skyclave is a... Sorry, I, I forgot to move that over. It's actually not as bad as it looked. We have 18 if you want to count the pyros as long as we make tokens. It's actually not as bad as it looks. If we, Especially if we sideboard the, the Fiend Hunter. I mean, like, Fiend Hunter was one of the weaker... I like it because it's a human. It, it was... I think that could be in the sideboard, though. I think we'd rather main deck the, the Apparition in the Night. Okay. Cool. Let's run it back. Speaking evil is the blue-white opponent we played. We did play them earlier. Do we want to test blue-white control? Could be good, too. If we don't see another opponent for a while, we will. But we did, I mean, we did just scoop to them because I felt like our colors were having issues. So... Hmm. It's it's a hard task, right? Trying to make the deck work without dipping into like the Angrath finisher, without dipping into um, this version of the deck could still play the Geist Honored Monks, by the way. But I'm just I'm just trying to pump and double strike and kill them, so it's kind of a different goal. This is better if you're just trying to grind. the The Wombo build is the Angrath Marauders play some bolts and such, right? The more grindy build is this like Geist Honored build. I do like the Geist Honored build of the deck, but it's not it's not going to kill nearly as quickly, um, especially if they have uh, some blocks that they can make or some removal. Because they in the, the Geist Honored Monk build, they really just need to block just the Geist Honored monks. You do go wide in the sky though. I do like that aspect of the Geist Honored. I, mean, I might that might be the next build we try after this like weird double strikey kind of style, um, Antheming effects. Um, I might be down to also... I don't know if I tested the Geist Honored build all that much. I might be down to test that build, I suppose. But not tonight. Like, this is the last version I want to test, and then I, I do want to get some sleep. It's probably like 3 in the morning now, yeah. Hmm. Might be hard for us to get an opponent at this hour. We also, while we're waiting for an opponent, we could do... I could leave this. I could leave this up on my other screen, so I see when there's somebody that joins. We can jump on it. All right. I'm gonna goldfish us while we're waiting. Um, it's fine. Pretty much keep most openers. If we're just fishing, we have tutors. So I've I've been interested to give the fauna shaman build a try. I actually think I still might pyro though. Like look at all this land. Right. Maybe we are supposed to pyro, but the problem is I'm not making tokens. I guess I ditch one pyro. I mean, one shaman. Do that. Okay, Skyclave. Uh, another birds. So what do we want to do here? We, we would want to get the, the shaman online. I think I'd actually get the rather get the nest invader. Let's get the nest invader in off of a, um, a basic uh, planes. Green. Okay, nest. Maker token, swing for two. Put blocks. It's funny, you can block your own creatures when you're doing this. Okay, we've drawn the champion. We don't care so much because we, we just want to ditch. I guess we ditch this, birds. Yeah. Go get Wynota. See what our See what our spins look like. All right, swing. I'll swing the, the Pyromancer, too. Also, this Anthem build makes me more inclined to swing with our humans. So we get three triggers. Okay, there's General Kudro that's going to grow the... Um, yeah, we get a target. Yeah, we get to exile something. Um, there's the Double Striker. Unless we need the Magus of the Moon, get another exile something. And we hit the finisher. We actually whiff. Ah, it's crazy, right? I found an opponent for us, by the way. They did say in the description that they want to see Tier 1 or Tier 2, though. I just noticed that after I'd already hit Joyend. They may scoop or get frustrated with us. Mulligan. 
because I mean we're certainly like jank they've probably never heard of or seen. I'm probably going to bottom the um, the champion. We don't know what the matchup is. I do think that ooze is more flexible than champion. Champion is a bit more matchup specific. Ooze is a little more flexible. How do you practice like this? So go into your settings. Go to create. Go to create and then number of players. Set it to one. And you can turn off the watchers if you want to. I don't, I don't bother. I don't care. People can come in and see what we're up to. I mean, I'm, I'm a streamer, right? So who really cares? Um, this is a spot where Noble is is probably better than... Um, well, I need Red Red for the Pyro, so I'm, I'm going to go Stomping Ground. Hopefully this Noble Hierarch turn one will reassure them that this is actually maybe a deck, right? Into Pyromancer. Probably just Pyromancer next turn, honestly. Yeah. No, 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 no. They showed us Tower. So, ooh, they dismember me. All right, well, we're definitely playing Fauna Shaman now. Oh, we just drew the Winota. Oh, they're playing Bluetron. Why are they asking for Tier 1 or Tier 2 only, then, if they're playing, playing Bluetron? All right, anyway, um, even if I fawned to go get a mana dork, I couldn't cast a, a land, a creature, so to speak. I can't do it this turn. I think we just have to hope to naturally draw the land or dork. I mean, gr a green source lets us maybe consider that line of fauna, fauna away something for like a birds of paradise. It's just funny to me that that's what they're looking for yet. All right, anyway, we attack. We grow the ooze. We're very sad. They probably... I mean, we're just... We're getting clumped. We're getting clunked. Clumped up. The dismember really set us back. It was good on them. Commit to memory. I will gain a life. Um, we know that Scooze is after our next draw. I imagine we just we're gonna have to go game two here. At least this is quit being quick and painless. I almost wonder if we would have been learning more if I was just gold fishing because we're just not getting there. We thought we thought we fixed. We're in the process of fixing some of the mana issues. But maybe not. Deck was kind of kind to us. So I'll need to draw step. Yeah, this is confusing. All right, so play the elves, see if it resolves. Draw step, I'll need to consider fauna shamaning because I can't afford to draw the scavenging ooze that's on top of my library. Maybe they have Narset if they're playing Commit to Memory. You know? Maybe. Please consider casting the Aftermath side of this, please. So I can fix my hand. I think they're doing it. Nope, they're just playing a Worm Coil. Okay. And this is exactly where it'd be nice to have something like Kiki Wombo. Kiki Wombo Combo. All right, so let's ditch. Go get something different. I mean, what we really want to do is Blood Moon then, but we're not really ready for that, are we? Not really. I have this Llanowar Elf. Love to check their hand since they're Bluetron. We'd, we'd want to start working on the Worm Coil. This is where I need Fiend Hunter main deck. This is where the Knight of Autumn doesn't cut it. Um, that's disappointing. Um, could get Nest Invader, actually. That seems like one of the perfect plays for us here. Oh, wow, we drew the land? Okay. Um, no, 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 we still just go Pyromancer instead of Invader. Py Pyromance the, uh, these two. Hmm. 
we did some maybe testing. Some maybe testing. I mean, I feel like it'd hard, be hard to believe that Bluetron doesn't have a counterspell here. Second engine. I mean, we we actually could go big. I mean, as, as, as hard as it seems to believe, we might actually be able to... Well, it depends on what their last cards are. Is this... They're just going to memory? Okay. There's my Wynota. So... We're going to Wynota. Magis is in my hand, but a lot of our, like, damage creatures are still in the deck. Maybe I'm supposed to thin there, but anyway. We're all in. We're doing the thing. Like, th this season Pyromancer, even with all the anthems, isn't going to get big enough to handle these unless I hit, like, the nuts, right? But I think we just have to hope to hit the nuts on these four triggers. That's why we're playing what we're playing. All right, so first, Maja, anthem number one. Elite Spellbinder, check their hand. What'd you get? All the things, right? There's, there's, Shark Typhoon's pretty good at this point. Maybe take the Shark Typhoon. Do we hit another Anthem? We do hit Herons. Let's take Herons. By the way, Herons Grace Champion is only a one-time boost, so actually maybe that was wrong. It's only the turn it comes in. And then a Wynota, she's going to give herself haste. We didn't hit our double strike. So I do think, unfortunately, that these worm coils are going to best us. We need we needed the double strike. I mean, like this was cool to see. We just like this if this had happened two turns ago, right? It's turn seven. Like this could have easily happened two, maybe even three turns ago. We got stuck. The dismember really set us back, and then I had missed land drops. I actually think that it could have been feasible. We put them to three. I go up to 30. Oh, isn't that frustrating? Oh, wow, they, they blocked two of my indestructibles. Huh. Oh, no, the commit's going to ruin me, actually. That was sweet to see. So this was us more on a pure, like, just go big idea they could also just have what is that spell that they play the um, return all permanents Ugin works this looks like an Ugin oh, shark typhoon okay I thought we took that oh no we did but they they paid the extra yeah that's the thing is if they wanted to cast this like I can't really stop them they have so much mana now so I think they tucked the Winota, right? That's what I would do. I would consider, yep, so they're going to tuck it. Make a shark. Yeah, even if I Knight of Autumn a Worm Coil, I don't think we break through here, do we? Interesting. So we make a bunch of dudes with protector. Like we can go super wide with these fetches and such. Um, but I don't have a way to give all the tokens I'm making haste or anything like that. Can cut them on. Um, finally, I can cut them on uh, their Tron mana. Making lots of warriors. Um, What am I doing? I have a Fauna Shaman. I'm sitting here, like, moping or something. I must really be tired, folks. Forgive me. I can just go get another Wynota. I mean, show me Counterspell, of course, opponent. If they have it, they have it. But Wynota? Condescend works, because I punted... Because I thought I should be doing other things. Thirst. Sure. We, we win. 
We're going to pull all the other humans out of our deck, and we should win right here. Well, maybe not. It's, it's going to be close. I'm not actually getting as many non-human triggers as I would like. I think this still kills them, though. I get three triggers. Wynota, she's going to give herself haste again. That's kind of a sad hit. Can I get the double striker, please? Okay, a noble high arc. I guess I'll take it. Give me the double striker. General Kudro. Exile the uh, this. Did we get there? Did, no, seriously, did we get there? I, I'm not even. I'm so tired. I'm not mathing, and it's not a league. Otherwise, I would be mathing. Math does kind of get silly on this deck. So they're they're blocking two of my bigger threats. They are gaining. 12, but they're at 2. 1, 2, 6, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. It's close. I actually don't think I killed them here. They also get my Machal. My Machal. Maybe they don't get to. Maybe they have to block the bigger creatures. Does this put them to one? Oh. We just we just pushed through two worm core we just what? <laughs> Did they math wrong and they could have maybe still beaten us? I don't even know what just happened. But I'm excited. Uh, really, the only thing we need to path in this matchup that we have they must path is the worm coils. I'd rather try to answer the worm coils through other means. We, we just we just pushed on through. That was really cool to see. You know, maybe I've been wrong about the list. Like, maybe maybe the, the push-through beat-down plan has always been the way. Do we know the way? I, I don't know about the Spellskite, even. Like, yes, they have ways to try to get the get the um, Wynota off the table. I can cut Apparition. Um... So which so I think we cut Heron's Grace because we don't need we don't we don't we don't need the the boost was nice that one turn it actually did result in quite a bit of extra damage, but across the board but, um, the the human specific anthems are what get cut first right yeah these two, they're just incidental, they're they're good game one I think because, um, the life boost is sweet in certain matchups and the hitting pieces in their graveyard is. Useful in certain matchups. Incidental Anthem. Also, could I have used Kudro to kill some of their threats? I think I should have looked at my looked at what was being blocked. And I don't think we had enough mana to do it, though. But maybe I could have like popped some of the worm coils when they were blocking. Anyway, something to think about if I hadn't tapped mana for whatever I cast before I realized, oh, wait, I can just go get Wynota again. This card is nuts for us, the Fauna Shamans. Um, oh, Scavenging Ooze goes, too. Um, Night of Autumn's okay for this matchup. Um, because the the thing about apparition can't hit the um, um, can't stop. Um, let's cut a nest invader, and run it back. That was sweet to see the Maja Blade Historian just push through. Actually, wait, I don't think we hit the Historian. I think we won even without the Historian. I think it would have been a cinch if we had it. It was amazing to see. Yeah, I don't think we got. We, I don't think we ended up getting our double striker. I didn't have the opportunity to tutor for it either. I had to. I had to just kind of work with what we were finding off the top. It's funny that they they went to negative one, so that the noble was actually relevant. I know we've been talking about how, like nobles, maybe we just can't avoid playing it, but I think I like this split for the, for the moment. I mean, every, every non-human we play is really important, so we'll keep this. It seems like a great seven. That was cool to see us smash through Tron. Now, granted, that's blue Tron and not typical Tron. I think typical Tron wouldn't have given us, would not have let us do that. Like, they would have, when they did get Tron online, they would have O-stoned us. They would have, uh, although blue Tron does run some number of O-stones, but I just feel like there would we would have been Ugand, Karn, go get Snaring Bridge, like all sorts of things, I think would have happened to us if it was typical Tron. But, anyway. The Fiend Hunter.
this list is certainly shaping up to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's fun to see if if we get, you know. I mean, I don't really want it to be if, right? I want it to we we hit the things. Ballista, my birds. Is that what we're doing? I might just play out Teague, because if they just have natural Tron here, I feel very sad. Um, plenty of green and red. We can get a basic planes here. No, no problem. I mean, I'd love to be able to... I mean, like, a lot of what they're going to use to kill Teague, other than the Singleton Dismembers... Actually, they, these days they run probably two. Like, yes, if I wait, I'm playing around Dismember. I don't want them to just have Natural Tron, though. So, it's it's tough. I'd, I'd love to protect the Teagster. I just can't. This looks like Dismember. Nope. Okay, maybe they didn't have Tron. It'll let me untap and let me have my Veil of Summer. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Birds. There's an Awkward Pontiff that... I guess I can cast off the birds. I mean, we don't really care to. Should we have left this in, really? I feel like this is another Anthem effect that really only shines... I almost would rather have General Kudro. I feel like I messed that up. <laughs> All right, they're charging up the cannon. I, I messed that up. Remind me, after this game, we need to switch this into something more relevant. Maybe it should have been the Spell Sky. If we can just protect a uh, protect a Magus of the Moon, we win, maybe. Blue Tron's different, though, than typical Tron. They, they run, like, the Signets and stuff. Um, yeah, this was wrong. It's okay. We're seeing that it was wrong. It's nice that it complements the Plague Engineer, too, because I've had matchups where... You play against like elves or humans or something, and they anthem a little bit f bigger than we can handle. Mapping, okay. Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Remind me, somebody, fo please, if I forget, we got to take this out for game three. It is it is it certainly should be like maybe general. Gen the benefit of General Kudro is he continues his. He'll keep his, um, all right, um, ooh, Spellbinder, yes. What do you got cooking over there? They have all the mana now in the world, though, so maybe this Spellbinder is just, this is just kind of like a let me see what's cooking. What are you going to kill me with? Kind of a question. So Ugin, they've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so so spell binding the the ugin uh does buy me like a turn they also do need to remove the teague though did i mess that up oh no, no they're trying to use that's right they're using the blast zone to get rid of the teague i was just trying to see if there was a way that um yeah so let's not forget where this ugin went um so I think they've got us the second game. It's amazing that we pushed through double worm coil though. That was that was like maybe highlight of the night that we pushed through two worm coils. All right, you, you got my Teague. Now they can play Talisman. This is where I need like uh, Revoker stat name Ugin. Oh, I could draw into it. I feel like I have to let go of the Fiend Hunter, right? Because I could hit exactly like Land Revoker. If we're getting the nuts, didn't get the nuts. We do get the nuts. I can go get Revoker or whatever I need to get. I guess I, I don't know. I just moon them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we just sweet. Well, I mean, hopefully they don't have a counter spell here. Uh, if we're mooning, we want the uh, well, yeah. Let's get a basic forest. Um, what am I giving up to get this moon? Pyromancer, right? I don't think I should get rid of bird actually. 
I think I sacrificed my Pyromancer. Wow, they got nothing. Okay. Um, these are summoning sick. I don't think I should go for the Wynota. I think I go to cut them. Cut them on mana. So let's go Magus of the Moon. That's why it's here. Swing. Ugin costs 10. Wait, did I know that that was a... Their hand is Pathway 1 Unknown. Okay. All right, we'll probably bring this out. I mean, maybe we don't have to. It, it's tempting to not go all out, but if it makes the math significant. One, two... No, they're at six. It does. If this doesn't change the math, which it doesn't look like it does, we don't. Uh, we don't make those tokens. Good games indeed. We actually got there. Granted, Bluetron, but I mean, hell, we're we're you know, tier three, tour, tier tier seven city ourselves, right? I'm kidding. I don't think Bluetron's like tier seven. I do think Bluetron gets a bad rap. It's it's a type of Tron that just has different good and bad matchups. That's the best way I like to describe it. I think that's the most respectful way to describe it. I think, yeah. Tron that has this is a sweet take on the deck this is our first whiff though but I think this is a good healthy hit if I don't block I think we die here yeah I go to negative 9 because we had a Kudro Anthem and we had a Blade Historian so that's turn 3 kill I'm kidding it's not this is a little misleading I think this means turn 4 but turn 4 kill is where you want to be in modern let's not do any sideboarding just submit so this is even with like main deck spell skites and such. Uh, keep see how this develops. All right, noble. I mean, maybe this is a game where we would try to magus them. Might be interesting to see if we could actually construe this hand to handle magus of the moon. I think we do that. I think we see how our mana functions or doesn't function after mooning. See if we can still see if our deck can still do the things. Um, so what do we need to do here? We need to get the Fauna Shaman on the table, right? So Fauna Shaman, swing, deal three. Get our little Exalted trigger here. Scoos. All right. Um, don't have quite enough mana to... So this is, again, this is technically turn four, right? Don't have enough to... I do actually have enough. I do have enough to go get Wynota but, and put her into play, but I don't actually gain the benefit of her yet. I think I want to get some more non humies into play. So yeah, you would like play like Ooze. Um, yeah, one way we could do this is to go Ooze Knight. Something like that. Just put counters on it. Um, although we might be gaining life there. S uh, swing, swing. De I mean, de it depends on the board state of whether or not we could swing. Or we just draw Wynota. Why not? I do need the white from the noble. Alright. Rather get the trigger from the Fauna Shaman. Three triggers. Do we find our double striker? We do. Now, if we need the life, we do. We would grab Heron's Grace, but let's grab Blade. A Noble Hierarch. Okay. Uh, Pontiff or Majo? Let's take. I mean, it depends. Like, if we need the. Um, is it do? You, it's choose one, right? Yeah, we can either shrink. If it clears out some blockers from our opponent, the Pontiff might have been the correct choice, actually. But let's go with Majo, and this should be tons of damage. Negative eight, nice. Turn turn five kill. So I think this is the kind of deck that Goldfish is just fine. I wonder if this is entertaining for you guys at all, though, because like, I don't know. My brain's mush. I'm not really. I don't think I'm able to play opponents anymore tonight. Um, Evolution, if we need, like, the moon or something quickly. I'm pretty sure we're just going to play the Nest Invader and uh, 
swing for one. This is actually a very quick. This is where the nest invader just like looks so good. By the way, watch this. If they did, if again, if they didn't weren't interacting, this is again we're just uh, fishing. Why not? Uh, get the two. This is where I like this a little bit better. One of the one of the areas where I like this card slot instead of. Um, all right, so do we take the double striker? Do we take seasoned? Probably not Kudra. We do we do want we do want the Blaze Story, I think, right? And we hit a Maja, which is gonna pump up the jams. We get to see the synergy here. Sweet. So now this is gonna get the double strike. And we actually deal a healthy Oh, we're dead. We <laughs> that was the turn three kill. Alright, that's a good note to end on. So this is us obviously playing against what? This is us playing against Tron. It's trying to set up. They don't have a dismember or whatever. Um Like this actually could like we're let's say we're on the play we're playing against traditional Tron I'm talking Green Tron, they don't typically I mean they have some lists will be playing like main deck dismembers and such but let's say we're, we're gold fishing against another combo deck of sorts, to to see the turn three kill is kind of neat, you're having a good time seeing this well thank you Captain Altitude, yeah the turn three kill it's cool to see, but like how many times did we have to gold fish to see it right. This might confuse people because it says Spawn of Virtue Zero, but whatever. I think that's worth the screenshot. It's fun to share. Like, but that put us to exactly zero. And, like, I mean, granted, we're playing against ourselves and we took some damage off of our own uh, pain land. However, our opponent probably has fetches or what have you, shocks. They're going to be taking damage. So the, the fact that we, we gave this Eldrazi spawn that had zero damage to it, even just one power, then it produced two damage. This was six. This was six this was um four four ten twelve eighteen no it was 19 but that's still really good did we attack them with the lanowar elves at one point or something this is 19 that's still pretty good yeah that's still really good so i i, I do think that we need multiples of the blade historian to actually do it i saved the screenshot cool i'll put it in the discord for those of you who haven't joined the uh, Discord, what are you doing not joining the Discord? You can share lists. You can borrow lists from us. Don't know why you're not doing it, guys. Definitely can say, well, not everybody's, not everybody knows what Discord is. Don't switch. It's a great little place where we post deck lists and stuff. Uh, where is this going to go? Modern. Turn three, kill. Don't let the turn counter fool you. This was um, in goldfish mode. Yeah, this is the kind of deck where it's totally fine to do a goldfish and see what happens. So don't let that fool you. It's, it's a turn three kill. All right, folks. Well, I think we've exhausted. I'm exhausted, and I think we've exhausted the. All right, one more. It's 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 kind of a fun deck to goldfish. One more. Last one. Oh, we can't keep this, right? Right? It's so awkward. So awkward that we had the firelit planes. It's good to see that punish us at one point. Keep. Um, gonna ditch the spell skate. No, I should ditch the Pyromancer. So I don't have red, red. Easy, easy. Um, let's lead Noble. We care about it less than birds. I think it's actually correct in this instance to. I mean, it depends on the matchup. Because birds. I don't want birds to be our only red source. I think I'm supposed to go stomping ground. Alright, stomping Noble. Uh, skite, birds, why not, why not, uh, we get two triggers here, so we go for it, um, could shock in the overgrown, I'm just going to go with the horizon canopy, I'd rather have flying for this attack, just depending on if they have blockers or not, 
Like, this is an ideal attack, coming in with the flyer. Spell Sky's pretty beefy, so we probably get away with getting both of these triggers without losing either of these creatures. Wow, we just find the Maja. The Maja. The Maja, Maja. All right, Dep it, it, this depends on the matchup. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just taking the young Pyromancer. This doesn't gain us enough life to be relevant here. Th these would be matchup specific. Probably taking Pyromancer. Ditch these, make a token. No blocks. Down to nine. This is where we would want to evolve for the double striker, right? So that we guarantee the double strike kill. I'm pretty sure. So we would evolve the um, spell skite. Just to guarantee that we get the, the damage boost. Kill them. But I think that's overkill, right? We're at, you know, the opponent's at eight. Two triggers. There's an anthem. There's Pontiff, and we are going to creatures you control get plus one plus one. Another Winota that doesn't actually improve our damage output. The Noble Wood. It is funny that this comes up. Is come. I mean, it's coming up because we have Anthem effects. This should be a lot of damage. We could block something for the funds. All right, but no, that's that's going to be. Negative 16, nice. Turn turn 4 kill. A modest turn 4, negative 16. All right, guys. Well, it's cool to see the deck goldfishing. Obviously, we get interacted with. That's that's modern. But yeah, cool to see the Blade of Story and do what we want it to do. Cool to see us double Anthem out through some weird creative ways, such as the Pontiff and the, the Maja. Mag Magia? I think you want to get rid of Pyro, at not Skite, because it was an extra trigger. Actually, I think you're correct, Raven. I think you're right. That was a mistake. Let's look at their top six. We would have seen Champion, Pyro. So we would have gotten to choose between Champion and Pyro, right? I thought we already saw the Champion, though. Is that right? But you're, you're correct. I should have kept the Spell Skite, actually, and ditched the Pyromancer. Okay. Last one. <laughs> I know I keep saying I'm going to bed, but th th this is actually a really, really satisfying goldfish. Mulligan. Mulligan. All right. How do we make it do the things? So we're going to keep... And I'm going to ditch the Spellbinder. I actually don't even need this Evolution, but the thing is, Evolution is the more mana-efficient way to get to the Winota, and I, I, I'm, I'm low on resources, the Double Mulligan. Or we just, we just draw another Evolution. That's fine, right? I think we Nest Invader before we Spell Skate. Debatable. So, so if I was to evolve here, we do actually get a trigger. Might might be correct to do it. I mean, it depends on the matchup. If this is a freebie, I think we do it. Get this ball rolling. This would be a matchup specific thing. I'll show you how much life we can gain as we is like show you what the the champion can maybe do. Um. Or we just evolve it for the double striker. I'm not sure. I'd rather have non-creatures. I mean, non-humans here, though. So maybe it's just elves. Elves, skite. Yes, yield. Go up to 20. Now, what's funny is we're the, we're this, you know, this, this, the shared life total, right? Conundrum. I should think I just thin. One trig. Whoa, all our humans are here. Uh, Pontiff or Kudro? Uh, Kudro. Exile stuff. Gain life. So that pumps... Kudro's going to pump these two. Still haven't gotten any uh, damage on the Eldrazi spawn, though. Should kill this turn. There's a Heron's Grace. We'll cast it. Oh, wait, 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 this has got flash. That's so relevant here, potentially. So, well, 
how relevant is it when we're doing silly win more stuff? But three triggers. Uh, if I take the Magus of the Moon here, we actually can't. I think Spellbinder is actually going to target me, funny enough. We have to take a spell from ourselves. I have to Spellbind myself. <laughs> General Kudro. There's our double striker. Gain some life. PZ. In response to the PZ trigger, I'll flash in the Heron's Grace. It's cool to see the flash on this card be relevant for once. Rarely do I think it is. Triggers. All right, so let's cast this. But yeah, I mean, this is magical Christmas land, right? It's like, would this ever really happen in a game of modern? Maybe. Just depends on if they interacted with us or not. We pump, but it only pumps the hero, I mean the humans. One, all right, we're going to block here because we get to kill this spell skype for free. Gain some life. Funny enough, I end up I end up at 17 because of that life boost we just did. I could evolve something. This is us just being goofy, right? Eldritch the Pyro, right? What are we Eldritch for? Maja, just guarantee that we have that Anthem? Probably. No, hit the Pyro. Swing. We should die this time, right? I mean, we gained a bunch of life off the Champion, and that, that the Heron's Grace lifelink gained us a bunch too, but we're done. We're dead now. But it's cool to see us gain that much life. Like, like as we did, we gained a bunch of life. We were we were offsetting the damage that we were dealing, and we were dealing a significant amount of damage. So it's cool to see how Auric Champion can can offset quite a bit of damage. But I think we die here, right? The extra historian doesn't do all that much, but I should have actually grabbed Pyro, right? Although Pyro would have gained us a bunch of life again. No blocks. Negative twelve. So it's it's it is cool to see that Oriac Champion does does do things even when we had so many creatures enter the bath, but this is like turn six. But turn six over the course of bunches of creatures entering the battlefield. It it, it, it can it, this this singleton champion can gain a significant amount of life. Alright, folks. It's bedtime. But this is a fun little little deck. Maybe mess with it yourselves. Do I think it's good? Not really. But it's sweet. All right, folks. I'll uh, see you on the next stream. Maybe we'll jam the Mardudu deck some more, too, at some point. It's another deck I'm working on. I've got some Popper decks in the works. Anybody here bother with Popper? Anyone? Bueller? Any Popper players in the in the room? I, I play more than just Modern. I dabble a little in Legacy and, and, and Popper. People argue that Popper is a Brewer's format. Um... We're looking for M, Mardu, Mardu, Mardu Gorio's Blink. So I was trying to do like some weird stuff with Ephemerate. So you see like, I was also trying out Velomachus. So it's kind of like a, just like a Mardu Gorio's with a, with a Through the Breach sideboard. Some, some stuff that's worth blinking. But, I don't know, it did all right. The, the spice is you ephemerate the first sphere Gargantua after it's unearthed. Not in a long time. What was I playing lately in Popper? This. This was the latest I was working on. I also am working on an, uh, a, a, an existence deck. Tor tortured existence, I mean. Here's the Orzhov Blink. This is going to look a lot like your... It look on the surface it looks like a lot like what you normally would see out of like a more mono black style. The problem is it's not. It's quite different. The um the snowflake sinkholes kinda let you get away with splashing one other color. Uh, sorry, the snowlands that they added to this format kinda let you get away with playing like you can still maybe do defile and scred help like nicely in two color decks. But this is a fun deck with all the ephemerates. You're like blinking zealots. You're during their draw step blinking chittering rats. You're you're blinking flesh bag, um, the monarch card, gray merchants, 
But the real spice is you're unearthing the Gargantua. And again, like I, I was trying to do in that modern list you saw, ephemerating this, you draw extra cards, you get to keep the Gargantua. It's pretty sweet. Try, I'm trying a couple of Ransack the Labs to set this up better and post board to get the Threshold on Rancid Earth. This is the Destroy Land, and if I have Threshold, I get to kill uh, one damage to each creature and each player. There's a little anti-synergy here because I'm making small creatures with, like, Hunt for Specimens. My, my Dusk Legion Zealots are small, so there's a little bit of potential anti-synergy, but I think it's fine. I was working on, like, an Is It Pirates deck. The purpose of this list was... Um, what was I trying to do with this list? My match just started. Somebody joined. Oh no no no! We were still gold fishing. That's what that was. Concede. Um, the 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 thought behind this list was to try to make a blue white blue red tempo list that got to play some sort of a one sided sweeper. So I've chosen fiery cannonade, and the deck was just trying to get there with, um, with with pirates. There's actually some reasonable pirates like Crimson Fleet Commodore is a 5-2 Trampler Pirate. We got some, like, fun, like, like Pirate Battle Rage, if you're wondering what this is. That's what this card is. Target Pirate gets plus one, plus one, gains double strike until end of turn. So you cast this on the Commodore for a finish. Um, you play Cut Purse. Cut Purse says that um, opponents have to sacrifice a permanent unless they pay one. So you're playing, like, Molten Reigns, Cut Purses. You're playing Four Spikes. It's a fun little nonsense. I think this deck could have maybe been stronger back before they banned... Um, days cut purse yeah it's a fun little deck you, you maybe play like cutlass and such I, you can see that i haven't tested this one nearly as much right um it's also not bothering with um scred it's just playing bolts but anyway play like some weird jank like sea legs it's fun it's a fun little list it's not great it's fun uh ab this is my take on the uh Funny enough, this is one of the few engine decks in the format. I mean, there's there's a few. There's a few um, modern decks that are engines, I would argue, that are engines. I also think that this deck, instead of being a Choking Sands build, also might benefit from the Threshold Sweeper, but or the, the Threshold Land Destruction. I actually haven't played this one yet, but I was trying to also see other shells that the Gargantua could work in. And this, this, this initial build is a real mess, as you can see. Lots of tapped lands playing the thriving lands as tri lands to try to be white black and um yeah trying to play the bare minimum on the uh on these spells i think that one shouldn't be in there though um this is a this is a list that would really benefit from the lesson that lets you uh go get a basic gain two life i think so we'll probably play that in here um yeah, I think that's that. Just just on the upset or on the on the outlook. If you're not familiar with this list, though, so you the, it, the build around is tortured existence. It's a cool little uh, powerful engine uh, in popper anyway. It's black for an enchantment. I can pay a black to discard a creature card to return a creature card from my graveyard to my hand. Uh, so I'm playing all sorts of powerful cards like popper goif. That's what people call this card. The Bayou Groff is theoretically popper goif. You just have to sacrifice something. It's not a big deal. Not in this deck, anyway. Um, you play Crip Rats, you can keep bringing back. Um, so most of our lands are going to produce black mana. Um, yeah, you just you just play a bunch of just kind of specific but powerful effects. Play Guardians because we're playing. You just play a Guardian because we're playing Pestilence. You can, you can main deck a Macabre in this list. It's, it's pretty sweet what's going on. So the, but the main engines of this deck are definitely Tortured Existence, Commune of the Gods. Um, in the dredgers, you've got brown scales and uh, stinkweed imps. This is a really fun engine. It takes a long time to win a game <laughs> when you're winning. You, so, you, you sort of win it with nickels and dimes, but it is a cool little list. Last time I played Popper, you played Turbo Fog. Turbo Fog still works. I've seen a I've seen a an updated list. I ha I had at one point. Oh, this needs one cut though. It says sixty one. Um, I don't know what I would cut. A brown scale. I think the life gain on this is really good, though. A lot of players swear by this. Maybe I cut, like, the weird Watcher in the web nonsense. I think it's kind of cool because it gives me reach and such, but maybe just cut that. Anyway. Yeah, bedtime for Bruce Bye. It's late. I'm sleepy.
Good night. Good night, world. Good night, folks. Yeah, the uh, this was an earlier iteration of us trying to do like some of this stuff. I feel like the Callous Blood Mage is sweet again, but it's. I think the issue is, um, yeah, it does. It doesn't give us the anthem that's so necessary. So I mean, we were on how many like pump or anthem effects now? Six. Six antheming kind of effects. I mean, let's not forget that Knight of Autumn is a four-power threat, just like the Winotas are when we need it to be. So we, we have a few creatures that wear the mantle of the double strike nicely. Yeah, but I, I know if you're joining the stream right now, you're like, what is this nonsense, Bruce By? No, I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's neat to see the go-wide anthem build of this archetype sort of function. Um... Mega greedy, but but interesting, and I, and I think in in many ways I kind of like it better than the the uh, Angrath's Marauders. I'd love to do some leagues with this and see if we could stitch it together. We, we, of course, with the most important piece out of out of this six being the the Blade Historians. That's why we're playing a two of of that piece in particular. But I think the other um, Anthem effects are important as well. Pontiff being a main deckable Plague Engineer effect is really sweet. Um, hadn't considered playing it before. I don't know why I hadn't considered it. Um, and we can haunt something that we, like, you know, Eldritch or something, get the effect again. All right, I will see you folks, though. It's it's tempting to keep working on the deck and playing with the deck, and it's, it's, it's actually a really fun deck, but, um, yeah, it's bedtime. It's bedtime, but Wynota Kiki, oh, it's not Value Kiki anymore. What is this? Is this just like Value Town? This is Value Town. The, them's the beats. I think it's. I think we can just call it Value Town. I've enjoyed it. Relatively, I'm sure there's. I'm sure it's relatively. I mean, like there's aspects of this that aren't budget friendly. I'm sure compared to a lot of other lists I, I play on the stream, this is quite budget most expensive cards in this list are probably the two magis of the moon period right i think those are the most expensive cards here no 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 season pyromancers excuse me it's the pyromancers that are expensive so by, by no means am i saying go out and buy this for yourselves it's fun if you already have most of the cards for it maybe play it but uh i wouldn't i wouldn't um I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be playing it. Not yet, anyway. We're still working out the kinks. Thanks for coming, folks. It's been fun. Uh, I'd like to host us a raid over to somebody else. We did that last stream too, and I really should spread the uh, the love. Let's find somebody else to host. Thanks for sticking around, folks. I should have said earlier that I was considering hosting. Uh, just didn't think to say it. Or let's let's raid. It's a spicy, spicy deck we got going on here. Um, Calibro is playing some sort of. Oh, it looks like he's playing Sahili combo. That's sweet. That might honestly be where I send you guys to Calibro Montes. 
Um, trying to see if there's any other modern content. That's probably the best place for me to send you guys. He's not English speaking, but that shouldn't be a problem. I don't really see any other Magic Online. There's like a Penny Dreadful thing going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you to Calib uh, Cabrito. I'm gonna send you his way because he is uh, jamming on some. Never mind, he just hosted somebody. I just missed him. He he's hosting this. Um, He's hosting a different streamer. She's playing. I'm, I'm looking for... Where are the Magic the Gathering online players when you need them? Drafting Strixhaven. Is anybody playing modern? Here we go. Hey, Bears. Found you. Sweet. Guys, thanks for waiting. Because it's like... It's, it's hard It's hard to like find some of the some of the other content that's going on. It really is. So he's playing modern Hate Bears. I'm excited to see this. All right, I see some Thalias. I see some equipment. I'm in. All right, let's let's go ahead and let's raid on over there. Let's say hi. Hello. Thingoler MTG. Let's go say hi. Everybody hit that button. Let's go check out some modern Stoneforge asking action. Are those main decked Archons of Emeria? Or do my eyes deceive me? Yes, they are. I do like Maul in these mono white builds. I feel like we just gotta just preach the good word of maybe splashing another color, right? But thank you so much. Let's go ahead and raid. Hosting might have been better because a lot of you guys are sleeping, but we'll raid. I should have hosted. <laughs> maybe some of you guys are sleeping. Uh, well, Fangler, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stream. All right, folks. That's the issue with hosting, though, is it doesn't give you the choice. I, I do like that rating lets you guys choose to click yes or no. I will say that much. But, uh, all right, I'll see you guys on the next Bruce Buy Show.